edition i hope you're all well this is part two of our skyrim adventure if you missed yesterday's episode we essentially the act one so this is where we currently are now we are on the quest diplomatic immunity which is the quest where you break into the thalmor embassy it's a pretty awesome quest one i'm very excited about so in yesterday's episode at the end of the stream which is linked below we um we were in Kynesgrove over here, where we saw Alduin rebirth a dragon from the ground and resurrect him from the dead, bringing back the dragons to Skyrim. Now, this is the quest that triggers all the dragons to come back to Skyrim and basically randomly attack you. It's always good fun, because whenever you fast travel, you have a chance for one to spawn. And then the further you are in the main campaign, the higher the chances for the them to spawn every time you fast travel or enter like a new game cell it's kind of how it works so now we need to come back to delphi now she believes that we are the true dragonborn just flexing on her that's how we roll guys it seems that things are worse than a even delphine thought dragons aren't just coming back to life they're being resurrected by other dragons delphine suspects that the thalmor might be bringing dragons back for some sinister purpose She's going to talk with her contacts about how she can infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy. So we're just here in Riften right now to talk to her. Let me just quickly pause that. There we go. And we can begin. Just outside the Sleeping Giants Inn. I have removed one of the weather mods, by the way, just so it's easier for the game to process. Uh, I do need a second PC build for my mod list, so it's not running at full capacity at the here. moment. So I'll go eat. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. How does she know that I wasn't followed? Delphine, what's your plan? Tell me, tell me. Welcome to the channel, guys. Good to see you all in the chat again, man. Sven struck up his banger of a, a song. Not my favorite, though. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Ooh, do tell. You're not coming? Can Lydia come? That would be a bad idea. I'd be too Aww. likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. She's saying she's too hot, so she'd, she'd attract the attention of the High Elves. So she's like, I'll send you because you're an ugly orc. <laughs> What's your plan? How do I infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy? I'm not very stealthy. The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellen Wen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. Oh. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wen's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? Do we kill Parthenax on this playthrough? I've never killed Parthenax. I'd never want to, to be honest with you. Not a dirty blade dragon slayer. Ah, well. Who is this contact of yours? Are you sure you can trust him? Don't worry about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. Ah, so you've bit gone for the extremists, haven't you, Delphine? Someone we can definitely trust. Okay, how am I going to get into this party then? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. I just imagine Delphine giving us this, like, this piece of paper with, like, a little crayon drawing of, like, you are invited to, and then, like, a picture of an elf or something. It's, like, very official. Once I'm inside the embassy, then what? That's when the fun starts. You'll have Ooh. to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Very well. I'll see you in solitude after I meet Melbourne. Sounds good. Be careful. 
Free Y3, thanks for the donation, my friend. Wait, oh, interesting. What? Something you're still confused about? I'm a little bit confused about how you're moonwalking like that. Impressive. What? Something you're still confused about? He's so passive aggressive. <laughs> he's like, he's not dangerous like you. Yeah, you. All right, we'll, we'll go to the Thalmor Embassy. What are you doing, Sven? <laughs> She's absolutely in... inspelled by his music. <laughs> Fantastic. You're new around here, so I'll go easy on you. But don't get on my bad side. So I to God this kid's gonna knife me in an alleyway one day. <laughs> my God. All right, let's go over. Oh, we haven't discovered solitude. Alas, we will go to White's Run and hire the carriage once again. <laughs> I think she is confused. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Have you seen the flying enemies yet? Well, we have the unofficial patch mod, um, so it's probably fixed most of those old school bugs that you experienced in my first playthrough when um, we had the high elves skating across the floor, attacking us and shouting threatening messages towards us. I'd like to hire your carriage, sir. Where do you want to go? Not here. Anywhere but here. Take me to... Um, solitude. Climb and back and we'll be off. This guy is like filthy rich by the time we're done our playthrough. Taking First us everywhere. Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already knew that. Hope you're not getting too Chickens are the true enemy of Skyrim. Yes, Zack, exactly. <laughs> My god, it's a wet and miserable day. They're actually uh, a sleep roll in the guards. Barracks. No. What is in here anyway? Just a nice view of the farmlands below, it seems. Genevine Green! Thank you so much for the $5 donation. Hello there! Alright, let's drop down. Get out of my way, Lydia. You filthy peasant! I must go to solitude. Can I get over this fence? Thank you. Come, Lydia. Solitude awaits. A very rich city indeed. Close the door behind you. Why is she, why is she taking so long? Beautiful city indeed. Is this the modded version? Yes, we have modded it with many a mod. It's actually a pretty light mod list, but it's not the uh, not the OG Skyrim version. Tell them he didn't do it. Oh, fantastic. We get to watch an execution. I love an execution. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Get on with it! You should tell her that her uncle is scum. Try you betrayed us! Him. Best she know now, Edvar. You're all heart, Vivian. Rock. <laughs> you should tell her that her uncle is scum. Yeah, great. You helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He Traitor. doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo! Boo! Bobby, thank you so much for the donation. My daughter and me got hooked on playing your videos. It's even more enjoyable. Appreciate all you do. Thank you so much, Bobby, for all the support. Man. Riddance to bad rubbish, I say. Oh, savage. You're a savage one, aren't you? I still can't believe he knew what he was doing when he opened that gate. I'm right behind you. That new in town Lead man on. opens a gate and they cut his head sleep. off. Head over to Doesn't seem skaters. right to me. We keep a fine inn. You are very eagle-eyed, aren't you? Rogvir, why did it have to be like this? Not right now. Oh, bless you. Bless you all. Have a look. Let's have a ask. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. Do you not think I look good? They're rude. I should have drawn it out some more. He deserved a slower death. God, you are a dirty high elf, aren't you? My 
god, how can you like Good the morning. High Elves? You know, the stuff. Winking Skeever's not just the best inn in Solitude. It's also the only inn in Solitude. You're at the execution, right? I showed up to watch, yeah. Hell yeah, boy. I don't know boy. if they were right to execute him for what he did, but I'll tell you something. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Haley, thank you so much for the donation and a drunk as well. You should do a live stream playthrough as a drunk character that drinks any alcohol. I mean, we can start now. Let's start now. I've, I've seen some horrible execution. Nothing but the bottle will solve this. AB Ripper, thanks for the donation as well. Start a bucket collection. I was done talking anyway. Yes, you were. You know you can afford a septum or two. Before we get Welcome. run over by beggars, let's head on inside and find the man we need to. Legend we all know and love. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Shouldn't you be on the other side of the bar? <laughs> our hero, our hero, <laughs> like our roles have been reversed. Traitors, civil wars, dragons. Huh. Those troubles don't cross my doorway. So sit, relax. Very well. You seem very relaxed indeed. Let's talk to Melbourne. Melbourne, I've been told that you're going to help us out. Logan, thanks for the donation. Mm -hmm. Hey, so I've never killed Parthenax myself. And if you agree to off him this run, I'll become a member of the channel. I'd like to see what happens. But I've never killed him either because I just disagree with the whole concept of killing him. Just the wrong thing to do. I mean, last last time we didn't kill him. Or maybe I'll do a vote on it. Matt, thank you so much for that huge donation. Hello, Battle Brother. I love what you do. Love what you do too. Are you going to eat yes. that bread, bro? You look nervous. Hmm? A mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Just take Lydia. What kind of thing should I bring? You're asking me? <laughs> she promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. I have if no you idea. If want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Lots of alcohol, I think. The racing, the raging Krogan. Thank you for the donation. Have you chosen the side which and why? We've not, we've not debated the Stormcloak Imperials yet. We shall at some point, I'm sure. Hold on, I'll get a few things ready. No, I'm ready. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Okay, okay. No worries. I want you to take this. I have a lot of interesting foods here. Um, so, armor. I assume I need to give you all my armor. You better not rob me, mate. I'll be pissed. Um, I'll keep my gold. My sword, obviously. You can have that as well. I cannot remove the amulet of Talus. Because I am too strong with Talos friends. I don't know if we should give him health potions or if we can take them in any way. Pretty sure we'll be okay. We'll give him some health potions. Probably get resist shock potions because those dirty Thalmor like to play dirty. And potion of the warrior. Scroll of Blizzard? That's going to be useful. <laughs> you know what? We'll get you into drug smuggling too. It'll be good for you. I think it will help you. I'm going to be naked after this. And the paralysis poison is also pretty essential for us to take. Okay, great. I think we're good. He didn't even say anything. He just left with... I'm just naked. <laughs> Lydia, don't look at me. I don't want you to see me like this. Next time, you might want to get dressed before leaving the house. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Stripping naked in the pub. Um, actually, next time do you have off. a cooking pot somewhere, my friend? You're not even playing music, lady. Oh, look, this is the shadow sign for fence, which I means you're no a dodgy you. boy, aren't Leave you? Me. You slimy person. Um, I'm looking for somewhere to cook some food. It doesn't Pop appear that... I won't see Rob here anymore. But he wouldn't tell me why not. Well, let me tell you, little girl. Oh my god! Lydia, we can become... Oh no, they're all empty. 
I thought I could become a raging alcoholic right now. I'm just going to drink the entire shelf, but it doesn't seem like that's possible, friends. Oh, there's nowhere to cook down here either. Oh well, Lydia, looks like you'll have to do the cooking tonight. No one likes your drumming. Stop. She actually stopped, the hell? <laughs> it worked. <laughs> hey Danny, great to drop in. The Scarum 2 board game video is hilariously fun. Damn elves. Here's some gold for a veteran. No, you I'll give you a coin, man. Oh, I'm really thanks. glad you enjoyed the board game video, man. I put a lot of work and effort into that one. Need to find someone to cook, friends. I think we'll probably just end up having to fast travel now and meet Delphine at the stables. I mean, cast the castle will probably have someone to cook, but I can't bother to walk all the Sorry, way over there. I, was lost in I didn't expect you to carry your own wood. Scene. Okay. So we've got to go over here to the stables. Let's let's do that. So to to the the blue palace. Oh, look who it is! My position because my cousin is the emperor. Nonsense! The man's given me nothing. He can't even be bothered to attend my wedding. I'm naked. Excuse me. <laughs> How many distract distractions are there? What you mean, like uh, in the in the Skyrim tabletop game that I did a video on? There's like in that demo. They've got like a certain amount. Um, there's there's a few, but like it's not the full game. It's just like a demo. So in the full game, there's like tons. Like um, we played played another game after that, and we were playing like we completely got distracted from the main quest. All for sale at fair prices. Fair prices, I welcome eh? Your friend. How may I serve you? You got me at fair prices. Take a look. Take a look. What are you selling? What is this? A cancerous growth. Why are you selling children's clothes? Oh look, it's the new Brawler Iron Gauntlets. Look at these. Pretty damn epic, eh? So now these are enchanted, alright? So the Iron Gauntlets, this is one of the new Creation Club things. The Iron Gauntlets have 12 armor, um, which usually like if you do unarmed attacks, it's based on the armor value of your gauntlets. So 12 armor, 12 damage. My iron gauntlets also do. Oh, I just I just gave them away. It's the, it's the exact same as my iron gauntlets, though. The only difference is that they have an enchantment. Unarmed strikes do ten additional damage. So aside from looking really really cool, they don't actually add any damage beyond the enchantment uh, compared to normal gauntlets, which I was a little bit disappointed about. I wish that they did add damage. Oh, we should probably bring a backpack. This one increases our carrying capacity by 75 points. I might actually buy that then. Yes. Thank you, Ellie, for the donation. I've killed Parthenax every playthrough. Blades gang, where you at? How can you do this? I can't believe anyone would do that. I'm disgusted, Ellie. Isaac, thanks for the donation. Have are you going to talk about the Necromancer Grimoire content? Um, maybe at some point, but this is mainly like a main story playthrough. Or oh, Boots of Fire Resistance are actually really good, but they're like worth one. Do you know what? We should probably buy them. Won't be able to take them inside, but they will help. Yeah, I think I'm good. That's that's all I wanted, to be honest. I can sell you some stuff though that I don't need. Oh, sell you moon sugar. You like that, huh? Yeah, he loves it. Look at him. He's so excited. So excited about the moon sugar. Can't get enough of it, you dirty Khajiit. What do you think of the... I will have to look back at that on the chat. Lockpicking is 20% easier. We'll keep this. We'll keep this. Bash, thank you so much for the huge donation. $50. My God, dude. Thanks so much for the support. Okay, we've got to go down to the stables. I'm literally naked. Delphine better give me some new clothing because it's not a good look. Showing up to a party naked. Done that before. Wasn't welcome. Came inside, they were like, shouldn't have come here. Then I got attacked. Work hard for the future and leave the past be. That's my buy a map from him. 250 gold, eh? Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yes. 
Melbourne is all set. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the Ooh. only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. Very well. I am ready. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. Could I take more of my clothes off? You can't go to a party. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Delphine? Been like watching that. for a while, but first live video. Thanks for joining, Bob. Appreciate the support. Um, so Imperial, we need to put on the part party clothes. So is Nazim always going to a party then? Party shoes. Wow. Rough sponge eunuch. Perfect. Okay, yeah. Amulet of Talos. I think that's going to be beneficial. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? I am ready. You just... <laughs> you just draw... You just steal that. You didn't, didn't even care, did he? Look at this kid. Yeah, I'm ready. Don't worry. It will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Wait, he gave it back to me? Oh, thanks, kid. Appreciate it. Killing Parthenax is like shooting Morden or shooting ah, Legion in Mass Effect 3. Little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Ah, I see. I see, Razalan. There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? Please, you first. I insist. I will just... Oh, wait, it's the carriage driver. Awful damn cold up here, and only the guests are allowed inside. Damn foreigners and their inhospitable ways. Yeah, all right. Perhaps we might share a carriage after... Hello! Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Is there a problem? Just a minute, I think I left it in the car. Of course. Just bring it to me when you find it. <laughs> she really doesn't believe you, does she? Well, we'll go into the, Don't mind me. the embassy. What's in here? Cold. Ooh, embassy barracks. This is outside the embassy. You. These fellows know me, are you already drunk? You are blabbering on. Your invitation, please. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Douglas, now thank then, you for becoming a battle invitation. brother. Don't have a poison deck. Guests are advised to remain inside the embassy. I'm doing my duty, sir. Guests are advised to remain inside the embassy. I'm yes. going, I'm going, jeez. This is a very small part of the micro mod list. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? My name is the Pale Orc. Pleased to meet you. Why is a party? It's my first time, you know? Where can I get a drink? Are you Ellen Wen? I've heard so much about you. I've no idea who you are. Have you? All good, I trust. But you have me at a disadvantage. I'm afraid I know nothing about you. Please, Madam tell me Ambassador, more about yourself. So what brings you to this... <sighs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? What does a fellow need of to course. do to get a drink? I've told you before here? not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please enjoy yourself. I'm so glad you could attend today. You host these parties often? Quite often, yes. The only thing I enjoy more than luxury is sharing that luxury with those who can appreciate it. But I also enjoy learning the latest gossip and hearing the most intriguing rumors. 
Hmm, I see you, know, you spared no expense. Of course not. One does not gather the most important men and women of Skyrim and then serve them cheap ale and stale bread. This is only a taste of the benefits that accrue to those that align themselves with Thalmor interests. Hmm, Riker, thanks for the donation. Crazy how far your channel has come. I remember the text on the screen in the tutorial days. My god, dude, you've been watching a long time. It has been like 10 years since all my videos were text-based. A very long time indeed. You're right. Thanks for the donation and the support there. What does your new position as a Thalmor ambassador involve? One of my main duties is to foster a better understanding between the Aldmeri Dominion and the people of Skyrim. I also oversee the activities of the Thalmor Justicias throughout Skyrim, mm. although this has been most unfortunately disrupted by the war. Very unfortunate indeed. I'm disgusted. What's your position on the war? Are you for the, the Stormcloaks? I think you probably are. I'm really set in my ways on Skyrim. I always choose a Nord as my race, and I always choose Stormcloak. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Love your content here, so thanks, Ellie. The Raging Krog. Krogan. There's MPD, a mod that makes Nazim do a game of hoop dances. That sounds pretty funny. Any way to insult Nazim, man. As long as the Empire continues to uphold its treaty obligations, my government does not concern itself with the internal politics of Skyrim. Skyrim! Fine. Do enjoy yourself. I shall, I shall. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. Indeed, indeed. I will distract the, gu the guards momentarily. But first, that dry bread. At least Ulfric's men are willing to fight for their principles, barbaric as they may be. What brings you to this party? There are those in the Empire who would wish to evade their obligations to help root out the Talos heresy. Fortunately, those most opposed to the Emperor's wise policy have now branded themselves traitors as well as heretics. I am here to remind the ruling classes of Skyrim that their loyalty to the Emperor requires cooperation with the Thalmor. I see. Sounds like you're a charming fellow. Until next time. Next time? Don't know about that. I end up with an axe in your back if you're not careful. Yep. The Great War is long past. It's time the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion put aside their differences. Prosperity is good for everyone. I agree, the Thalmor suck, but damn, they are snappy dresses. Brings you to this party. I quite like a businessman. But not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. Ah, really? As wealthy as you are. What brings you to the party, then? Brad, thank you for the support, man. What's your favorite whole house for the creation content? I've only seen one, that's the vampire one. And I really like that one so far, but I haven't seen the others yet. Um, if Nazim was a Nord, he'd fit right into Windtown. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Logan Nernhood. I usually tend to play Dark or Wood Elf Archer setups, but I would go for a Khajiit race this time. Can you give me a name for my character? Mine's called Akar. I would recommend searching some Khajiit names. What are you doing? You okay? A bit rude? You must be new to Skyrim or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. Oh, okay. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> <laughs> money. Very well, then. There's a likely-looking filly, even if she is an elf. You there, serving girl. What's your name, dear? Ah, oh, Brayla, sir. Do you need a drink? Something to eat? No, no, that's not what I'm interested in right now. I just wanted to get a better look at you. I like what I see, my dear. 
And believe me, I don't say that to everyone. I'm very discriminating when it comes to the female form. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Was there anything else I could do for you? Oh, not at the moment. Maybe later. Don't go far. Yes, run. sir. Run. Run, run for the hills. Run the for the hills. What can I get for you? Oh, I can only ask you for a drink. You need to flee. Here you go, sir. Colovian brandy. I'm sorry, but I think you've had enough for the moment. How dare you? Until next time. We'll see the about that. Of the but I can't sneak. Damn it. Just between us, I've got more important things to do than attend these meaningless parties. Wait, it's Nazim, the Story. same voice actor. There's someone I'd like you to meet. It's very nice to meet you. You'll have to excuse Orthus here. He so rarely gets back to civilization. Stuck in Windhelm, poor fellow. Don't worry, Orthus. I'm doing my best to get you reassigned to Solitude. Oh, don't worry about me. I relish the challenge. I'm ready for this party to be over. <laughs> what brings you to this party? Ill luck. I'm a busy <laughs> man and I don't have time for this sort of frivolity. But at the same time, I don't dare refuse an invitation from Ellenwyn. Don't look so happy to be here. Is it that obvious? I should take pains to seem more happy. I wouldn't want to upset our host. But the truth of it is, I have a mountain of paperwork back in Windhelm and it's not getting any smaller. I just hope this party doesn't drag on all night. Goodbye, then. <laughs> this is the lady who we will assassinate at some point, sadly. I find these parties such a dreadful bore. Oh, God. Almost as thrilling as your wedding will be, though, no doubt. Logan Nearhood, thanks for another donation. I would like you to come up with a personal one if you could. I'd mean a lot and all the honesty. Message me on Twitter. I'll have a think about it because I can't think of one off the top of my head. Does your company do business with the Thalmor? A delicate question, to be sure. I'm the Emperor's cousin and the Empire has little love for the Thalmor. On the other hand, the Thalmor have considerable funds and are looking to expand their shipping. I haven't signed any deals yet, but I'm sure my cousin would want to cut if I do. What better way to soothe his wounded pride? Hmm. If these parties bore you, why even bother attending? Good question. The East Empire Company has interests all across Tamriel, inside and outside the Empire's borders. We try not to get involved in politics. However, as the head of the company, it's my job to make sure we maintain good relationships with prospective partners and investors. Want to help me with something? Oh? Something interesting, I hope. Ooh. I need you to cause a scene. Get everyone's attention for a few minutes. I don't know. I don't want to do anything that might offend Ellenwyn. There is a lot of money at stake, after all. Don't worry. I want to play a joke on someone. We go for it. I don't think so. Sorry. I would love to help you, but Ellen Wynn can be very vindictive. I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Damn, you're just a wuss, aren't you? I am getting on a prank. These Thalmor know how to treat a guest. One thing Wait, everyone can you're like the white on. version of Nazim. What the hell? Bad for business. Why would anyone join the Stormcloaks? They have a fraction of the Empire's wealth and power. Ha! <laughs> Y'all sickened her. Have you known Ellen one long? I've known her long enough to appreciate her excellent taste in food and wine. And also long enough to respect her importance to Skyrim. She plays a vital role in rooting out the forbidden worship of Talos. As far as I'm concerned, those Talos worshippers get what they deserve. All they do is cause problems for me and the other Jarls. Damn, you savage. Some Jarls represent the Thalma. How about you? Definitely on the side of the Thalma. Yes, I know what you mean. Most Nords struggle to accept change. Those who fought the Thalmor in the Great War still see an enemy. But that war is over, and a new day has dawned. Besides, the Thalmor reward their friends richly. Anyone who doesn't take advantage of that is a stubborn fool. Oh, don't have a now. Until later, then. I just wanted you to stop playing that. It's good practice. 
most people barely notice what I'm playing. Oh, no, no, I noticed. It is not eyes that reveal another's true nature. It is the heart. That's deep. Are you having a good time? Fair faces and fine food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. It's deep. Do you visit the embassy often? Go to the cloud district often? There are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. For this reason, I avoid them when I can. I think most of them are above the cloud May district. Wisdom light your path. Did you know Vittoria is the Emperor's cousin? Best stay on her good side. Well, I'll assassinate her later Goodbye, in the game, but okay. What can I get for you? Actually, you know what? Do we have any of the drink? Oh, Colovian Brandy. Resource 25 points of stam stamina. You haggle for 20% better prices. For 30 seconds, stamina regenerates 30% slower for 30 seconds. Good day. Ooh, good day. I don't recall seeing you at one of these before. And I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. He's on to us. Brings you to this party. To maintain relationships. By the way, I don't know who you are, but unless you want me to blow your cover, I'd advise that you avoid me for the rest of the party. I have more questions. What's your relationship with the Thalmor? We have a relationship of mutual respect. I care little about the politics and rivalries between the Thalmor and the Empire. But I do respect power. And the Thalmor have that. They leave me Such alone power. and I leave them alone. Bodo, thank you so much for the 50 run. I didn't watch Skyrim tutorials if they're not made by you. I'm I appreciate that, dude. <laughs> you don't have to watch me exclusively. Though. There's lots of cool people to watch. Especially in the Skyrim community. Alright, I think we're good to get our armor now. How about you? I'm sorry, sir. I'm on duty. Oh, you're on duty, eh? Oh, one sec. There's more wine there. Look away. I can't sneak. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's free. Free. All the cheese is free. We're going to need this, guys, if we want to make it through the night. Potion of regeneration. How useful. It's actually sweet. I didn't realize it was all free. Don't mind me. I'm quite hungry. Oh, there's actually an iron dagger here. Take that. Everything, including the plate. Oh, dirty slaughter fish. Who wants that? Well, there's leeks here as well. Grilled leeks. Take the bread. And the bowl. Why not? Let's take the bowl. Oh, sorry. Were you hungry? Oh, someone's dropped their sweet rolls. That's not good. Honey nut treat. Yes. Perfect. Okay, I'm ready. Yes? What do you need? Oh, we need to make a distraction, don't we? What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Don't worry, my friend. I brought you a drink. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Actually, thinking about it, there's something you could do for me. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. I need you to cause a scene. Get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Here we go. Attention, everyone. Could I oh. have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our man? mistress. What are you doing? I speak figuratively, of course. Ugh. Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. Although, Oof. most of you are already in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Fine, fine. Get your hands off me. I'll be a good boy now. Wouldn't want to offend our Thalmor overlords, would we? Someone bring me a drink, quick! <laughs> yes, what do you need? I'm ready. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Oh, damn it, come on. We need another distraction then so you can open the door. I wanted to watch the distraction. Where are you, drunken fool? My friend, a toast to a beautiful friendship. Indeed. 
I brought you another drink. Ah, the nectar of the gods. <laughs> he just if keeps going. Anything I can do for you, just name it. Uh, yeah. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Stay <laughs> on, friend. Come I on. need another drink. My friend. I was after way. Toast to a beautiful friendship. Of course. Is stand back and behold my handy. <laughs> it's just like the worst party go ever. Do they say the same things? Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? Yes. I what do you need? Of course. I'll be waiting. Let's go. I Let's go. Before anyone notices us. There we go. I speak figuratively. Of course. Uh. Nothing could be more unlikely than that so much wine. Want her in their bed. Yes. Hello. Most of so you far, so good. already in bed. Let's hope nobody saw us slip again. out. This is perfect. All of the wine is here. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Fine. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Wouldn't I look pretty sus. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. <laughs> a guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. I saw Your nothing. In that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Hurry I'm trying not to. I've got to get back before I missed. Oh, jeez. Bear with me. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. I think we have time for me to to, to take everything out the larder. Oh, potatoes and oh, pine eggs. Oh, you have leeks. You this is exactly what I need strong. for overpowered potions, though. Overpowered food. Now, do you have anywhere I can cook here? I need to lock the door behind you. There the must be somewhere I can cook. Probably a chef's area. One second. The dog me. You guys disgust me. There's no the cooking cauldron in the kitchen, for goodness sake. Wrong. Okay, shut up. Now lock the door. There you go. You happy? Let me get my stuff. All my stolen stuff that I have in here. Fantastic. Yeah, we are now ready to do battle, brothers. Oh, more cheese! And more wine? I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Peasants as well. I I'm just robbing the pantry in the Thalmor Embassy. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. What do you guys reckon? No witnesses? I think we're going to trigger everyone as soon as we get out. So what is our objective? We need... <clears throat> we need to search for information about the dragons returning. Pretty broad Hurry topic. I've got to get back before I missed. All right, off you go. Good Did luck. You see those robes You're on your own. Huh? You're dead. We've been spotted. Battle brothers, we have been spotted. Gotta use the door to defend ourselves. So we can take one out at a time, ideally. I do not want this. Stop setting fire to me, brother! Oh god. Okay, we've survived and we've leveled up, which is convenient. We can save that level up later. Now this elven armor, we want to take all of it. So we can sell it later. Fantastic. Okay, there's another one coming. Oh god, he's a mage. I'm good. Let's quickly get a health potion. Uh, potion of regeneration. I think we'll save that for now. It's on the other side of this door. Ooh, he's a shock mage. Hopefully we can get him to come closer. Open the door for us. We'll save the game to you. 
There he is. No, stop walking away from me. There we go. I need, I need to drink some potions. Where's my skooma? 25 points of stamina. Or we could just drink the wine. Drink the wine. Yes, give me, give me that wine. So we can block again. Oh, get wrecked, son. You dirty Thalmor. Let an orc run loose in here. Ha ha ha. If I put on the Thalmor robes, will I be able to blend in? That is the question. I think if, I, if you're a high elf, you can. Otherwise, if you're an orc, it's actually impossible. Uh, there's no ingredients I need in here. Disgusting. Charge upstairs now. We're safe. Ooh. This is where everyone's pounding the high off then. I imagine. Moldy cheese. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Oh no, I didn't want to go outside into Skyrim. Oh god, this is not good. Probably triggered everyone now. Maybe they'll follow us inside. Not the exit we should have chosen. That's back downstairs. This is the office. This is where we can find information. Real leaks. Potatoes. Very nice. It's all mine now. Ooh, soul gems and potions. And a plate. The permanent. And what else is here? No more evidence. Uncommon tastes. I believe that's a book by the gourmet of Skyrim. Okay, before we leave, go downstairs. Take this bomb. Wondering whose body that was there. And go back out this way. I think we'll just continue onwards then. It's been a while. What race is he? I'm playing an orc. Disgusting orc. Here we go. Things are about to heat up now. Oh! Oh, he's conjured a Daedric sword as a weapon? Jesus Christ. Uh oh. We might need to use our shock resistance potion or potion of regeneration now. Resistance to shock. Here we go. Let's go. Die! I'm down. Stop using your spells, wizard! Give me the wine. Actually, we have potion of stamina. That is a big potion of stamina. We don't need that. Uh, paralysis? No, we're good. Give me the skewer. Oh, get wrecked! He's trying to run away from me. I need some more stamina in a second. Stop blocking me! Oh my god, we almost died. One hand of skill increased to 39. Yeah. We can take this with us. Yes. And this. Oh, another potion of resist shot. Perfect. Exactly what we need. Found my roads are in China, so they're worth a lot of money. Let's quickly eat some food that we stole. It's apple pie. Baked potatoes. Food is so pointless in this game. I literally have to eat the entire worth of the Thalmor Embassy's food supplies in order to get back to full health. I mean, that is kind of nuts. Never should have come here. Here's some enemies. Play the game. Yeah, stealthing things is just more fun, man. Can't go wrong, right? Yeah, we got to go inside this building now. It's me! Oh god! Stop using fire on me. Wait, is this guy helping me out? 
Bro! Wait, wait, no, he's not helping me. Okay, okay, let's quickly eat some cheese. All of the cheese wheels. I was consuming like eight cheese wheels in front of this one guy. Wait, do I not have shouts? Where are my shouts? Why is it? Am I silenced? The hell? Die! Ah, dirty Nord servant of a Thalmor, how dare you! Your butter is mine! Oh, this is Gissa. Oh my god, interrogation chamber key. Sounds very dirty. Ooh, Kanja Flame Atronaut. Well, it's lucky he didn't do that. Ring of Minor Destruction and his robes. Fantastic. I hear someone downstairs. Ooh, a chest. What will be inside the chest, though? Dragon Investigation Current Status. Oh, it's a very useful title. First Emissary Elwyn. We anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the party or power behind the dragon resurrection phenomenon. An informant has identified a possible lead whom we've had brought back to the embassy for a full interrogation. The subject is obstinate, but by all indications is holding back the informants we seek. The information we seek. I have authorized immediate manual uncoiling. I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell a tale. In the meantime, if you wish to audit our technique, your expertise is welcome as always. I have placed the prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Ranildil, 3rd M. Another interrogation key. And two dossiers. One is a dossier that they're keeping about Delphine. Probably talking about how much of a milf she is. Active capture or kill. High priority. Emissary level approval. Description. Female Breton. Mid 50s. Oof. Background. Delphine was a high priority target during the first war. For both operational and political reasons, she was directly involved in several of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades within the Dominion. She had been identified and was slated for the initial purge, but had some bad luck and was called back to Cyrodiil just before the outbreak of the hostilities during the war. She evaded three attempts on her life, in one case killing an entire assassination team. Since then, she's only in. We only have indirect evidence of her movements, as she has proven extremely alert to our surveillance. She shouldn't be considered very dangerous. She should be considered very dangerous. Very well. And no move against her should be made without overwhelming force and a most careful preparation. Operational notes. She is believed to still be working actively against us within Skyrim, although we have no location on her, assumed to be working alone as no other blades are known to be active in Skyrim, and she has in the past avoided contact with other fugitive blades for her own secrecy. One of the reasons she has far evaded elimination, her continued existence on a front, all of us. Any information on her whereabouts uh, and her activity should be immediately forwarded to the third embassy very well. How long will you be streaming, Bartek? Thanks for being a member for seven months, firstly. And uh, I, I don't know, probably at least an hour or so longer, for sure. Maybe even a couple of hours. The Thalma dossier on Ulfric Stormcloak. So you can see how they've manipulated the war now. Ulfric Stormcloak. A mere puppet. You see, he's stated as an asset, though uncooperative. A dormant, emus a dormant emissary level approval. Description. Jarl of Windhelm, leader of the Stormcloak Rebellion. Imperial Legion veteran. Background. Ulfric first came to our attention during the first war against the Empire when he was taken as a prisoner of war during the campaign for the White Gold Tower. 
Under interrogation, we learned of his potential value, son of the Jarl of Windhelm, and he was assigned as an asset to the interrogator, who is now First Emissary Elwyn. Ah! He was made to believe the informant obtained draw the information obtained during his investigation was crucial in the capture of the Imperial City. The city had in fact fallen before he had broken. So they told him. So they, they made him believe that the information they gave that he gave about the White City being the Imperial City, um, which had already fallen, had aided them in in invading which is how they probably destroyed him and that allowed him to escape and then they allowed him to escape with that information after the war the contact was established and he was proven his worth as an asset the so-called markarth incident was particularly vulnerable valuable from the point of view of our strategic goals in skyrim although it resulted in ulfric becoming generally uncooperative to direct contact Operational notes. Direct contact remains possibility under extreme circumstances, but in general, the asset should be considered dormant. As long as a civil war proceeds, its current indecisive fashion, we should remain hands off. And obviously we saw in Helgen that the the Dominion was still there pulling the strings of their puppet, Ulfric. The incident at Helgen, oh here we go, is an example of where an execution had to be made. Obviously, Ulfric's death would have dramatically increased the chance of an imperial victory and thus harmed our overall position in Skyrim. So they want the civil war to still carry on. Note, the coincidental intervention of the dragons at Helgen is still under scrutiny. The obvious conclusion is that whoever is behind the dragons also has an interest in the continuation of the war, but we should not assume. Therefore, their goals align with our own. A Stormcloak victory is also to be avoided, however, so even indirect aid to the Stormcloaks must be carefully managed. They just want, essentially, the war to carry on. So they can put themselves in a better position and sow seeds of chaos. It's very interesting. Alright, let's go into the Torture Chambers, friends. My favourite place in Skyrim. We'll take these cheese wheels with us. We can offer them to the prisoners. Here we go. Let's see what we find. Battle brother? My god, there's a lot of blood. Somebody's been eating some jam down there. I remember the last playthrough when we didn't have the unofficial patch mod. Oh, there's an enemy. We actually, um, these people were on the ground attacking us. Like face, face flat to the floor. We'll see about that, elven scum. How about this? Death is the only way out of your misery. Ah! <laughs> how how ironic for him to say that just before dying. An elven mace, 22 damage. Damn. Let's strip him butt naked, friends. That is the only way. Ooh, look at that beautiful mace. Fantastic. Hello there. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. I'm not here to torture you, brother. What? Who? What? What do you want, then? No time to explain. Let's get out of here. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. You go ahead. I'm not done here. Hold on, you may know something important. We let him go? What are you doing here, anyway? They grabbed me in Riften. They seem to think I know something. They just kept asking me the same damn questions. Hmm. I know who they think he is. The cheese hoarder, ESO. The mad god, friends. Go ahead, I'm not done. No problem. Thanks for springing me. I owe you. Look me up in Riften if you make it out. Run for your life, battle brother. Oh, okay. Uh, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna have a look in this chest, brother. 
The Thalmor Dossier Espern. They think he's Espern. Status, fugitive, captured only. Highest priority, emissary level approved. Deception, or description, sorry. Male Nord, late 70s. Background, Espern was one of the Blade Law Masters prior to the First War against the Empire. He was not a field agent, but is now believed to have been behind some of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blaze during the pre-war years, including the Falnistai incident and the breach of the Blue River Prison. We could actually go to the Blue River Prison. His file had remained dormant for many years as an inexcusable error on the part of my predecessor who has been recalled to Alanor for punishment and re-education in the Eronet the erroneous belief that he was unlikely to pose a threat due to his advanced age and lack of field experience. A salutary reminder to all operational level is that no Blade agents should ever be considered a low priority for any reason. All are to be found and justice executed upon them. Operational notes. We are still in the dark as of the cause and meaning of the return of the dragons. I have made capturing Esbern our top priority, as he is known to be one of the experts in the dragon law of the blades. Regret regrettably, we have yet to match their expertise on the subject of dragons, which was derived from their Akaviri origins and is still far superior to our own, which remains largely theoretical. The archives of Cloud Ruler Temple, which is believed to have been the primary repository of the oldest blades law, were largely destroyed during the siege. And although great effort has been made to reconstruct what is lost, now it appears most of the records related to dragons were either removed or destroyed prior to our attack. Thus, Esbern remains our best opportunity to learn how and why the dragons have returned. It cannot be ruled out that the blades themselves are somehow connected to the dragons' return. It's so funny how they think this. We have recently obtained solid information that Esbern is still alive and hiding somewhere in the rift. Interrogation of a possible eyewitness is ongoing. We must proceed carefully to avoid Esbern becoming alerted to this danger. If he is indeed in Riften, we must not be given an opportunity to flee. Very well. We need to go and help Esbern in Riften. We may be too late. You can hear some noises. There's another Battle Brother approach. Oh, he's still sneaking away. Look at him. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence, I'm traitor. I'm dead already. Huh? Never should have come. Oh no, we've got to save him. We've got to save him, boys. No. Oh no, no, no! Don't kill him. Oh, Derek, son. Die. I'll see you. Behold the Thalmor. Behold the Thalmor. Imagine announcing yourself. No, stay back, brother. I will save you. Don't show him what you've got. You'll kill him. Yes, finish him. Takes care of that. Hell yeah, Malborn. Now Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. Well, you did the deal, mate. It's your own fault. That's all I can say. Other elven mace. Dude, you guys are kitted. Trap door key, eh? Oh, we need this trap door key. You've saved everyone. Thank you for the content been watching for years. All that for mod list is a bit broken. We'll get it fixed at some point. I don't know. I need to go back and like fix it myself. Um, Ultimate Immersion made it quite a while ago now. Like literally several years ago, so... I'll open it for you in a moment, I brother. I saw guards dragging bodies over here. Might be a way out. Yeah, it looks like a way out. It looks Let's get very out of here. nice. Let's get out of here. Um, but yeah, it does, is in need of an update, so... I'll probably do it at some point, though. When I go back to playing Fallout. Branded Iron Armor. We already have this. Nord Mead. I can't believe we find that they're drinking Nord Mead down here. That's pretty funny. No more prisoners. Let's get out of here, guys. Oh, there's something ahead. Something scary ahead, brothers. I 
fierce and floss troll. Oh god, he does a lot of damage. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Oh my god, I've been killed. Did you notice any changes in the vigils? No, because there literally were none. Can I tell I you to wait here? Tracking bodies over here. Might be a way out. Hmm. Let's get out of here. We're gonna have to increase our health. Oh, we should have waited actually. The mid combat, so we could use it to heal ourselves. We're going to stamina. We're gonna need stamina for this battle. And we're gonna need one handed damage. Armsman. That's what we want. Just basic damage. Here we go, guys. Go and we'll use a post uh, poison as well. I think I got um, a pretty good poison. Potion of the warrior. Nah, I think we'll be okay. Damage is target self by 15 points. Yes. And we'll use a potion of the warrior. Why not? Here we go. Go in. Get him. We've got a stagger him. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Jesus. He instant kills everyone. We need to save them, though. And not let them die. Okay, we'll use the level up this time. Mid-combat. We will use Lingering Potion. We might have to use our Paralyzed Potion, but I don't want to have to. Now we got time. Okay, now we level up. Um, we level up Stamina. We level up our one-handed Armsman. And then we need some Potions of Health. We might have to use Paralysis. Don't want to though. Oh god. Uh potion of healing. Oh my god, you're literally standing in front of me. Do you have a death wish, Melbourne? <laughs> literally stands on my right where I'm swinging my mace. He's cheesing me. Is one hitting me. We can do this though, Battle Brothers. Might have to use the unrelenting force shout. Or I could perhaps paralyze him. There we go. Go ham. Oh god, oh my god, I... I, th I don't think I can use a sword on him because my block speed is too slow. That's true, I've got Berserk Rage as well to use. Okay, okay. We will do this. Actually, no, I don't want to poison. I want to use a different weapon. Um, got my blade sword. There's less damage, but we need we need the extra damage. Right, now. Weak poison. Potion of the warrior. Save here. There we go. Oh, I didn't hold it down. I suck. I suck! Oh, we can do this, boys. Oh my god, it's, he kills me so fast. You're yeah, playing on a very hard difficulty. Ran out of cheese. Pass Rodar. It's going to be the other way. Then I'm going to have to use a paralysis potion. That's going to be like the only way. Unless I can fight him. But no, because then he kills my follower. It's so sad. 
Oh well, he was having a go at me earlier. We'll let him die. Bait out the attack. Got bait out again. Here we go. Oh god, okay, that hit me. Now we level up. Uh, stamina. One handed. And then we want Unrelenting Force. There we go. I want to save my Paralysis Potion, ideally. Yes! Get Rexxon! We did it! Gotta have a challenge, guys. One frosty orc boy. Ah, it's so sad that Melbourne's dead, though. Ah. Oh, Ring of Conjuration. Why are you no very good conjurer, are you? Ah, oh, once there's a necromancer here. Necromancer robes and an unusual gem before the... Ah, oh, damn it. I did not want to read that. Temptation to reload is strong. Inefficient leveling. No. All right, let's get out of here. I always run past the, the troll. No, you must kill it. Talk to Delphine. You see, if we had, um, if I had a somewhere to cook, we could have done a vegetable stew potion. Then I could have just stun locked him for ages. Recover your equipment. Oh, is that from Delphine? Delphine. There's Riverwood. Back to Riverwood, Battle Brothers. We must talk to Delphine, tell her all of this information that we've now learned about the, them thinking that we were behind the dragon attack. Well, she thinks the Thalmor are behind it. I think that really gives you an idea, right? Like, you know, with with the blades uh, and the Thalmor being like sworn attack. enemies, um, they're really just always out to get each other and they can't see through how much they hate each other to actually figure out what's really going on with the dragons returning. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. I'm going to see your wife, my friend. I'm gonna have a good time downstairs. See you later. You made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Hmm. The Thalmor, the Thalmor know nothing about dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? I am literally certain. Why did you send me if you were going to believe me? You're right, you're right. I just... I was sure it must have been them. If not the Thalmor, who? Or what? You just hate the Thalmor, don't you? I don't know why, but the Thalmor are looking for someone named Esburn. Esburn? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. <laughs> Why are you playing Goblin? <laughs> what would the Thalma want with Esburn? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esburn was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Rohanan, thank you so much for the donation, dude! Matthew Hall, will you be using some exploits to level fast, please? Uh, probably not. Not, like, on stream. Like, uh, don't... I think I'll just play through, like, pretty standard. I'm not going to, like, go out of my way to do anything. I'm just going to play through with everything I find. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I think we're not going to do any other, like, quests. Just the main quest at the moment. So the Thalma think the Blades know about dragons. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esburn before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? They seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. Oh, well, you're a rat on, Delphine. You better Delphine. get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esburn, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Banging you, right? Uh, what happened due to being... about me being Dragonborn? So important. The Blades have always guarded and guided the Dragonborn. 
but we'd forgotten why. Now our purpose is clear. I'm all that's left of the Blades, and you're the Dragonborn. Together, we're going to stop these dragons if we have to put every last one of them back in the ground. What happened to the Blades? Why are you on the run? The Thalmor happened. They've been hunting down every blade they can find for the past 30 years. Thanks to the White Gold Concordat, they've been able to operate throughout the Empire with impunity. The White Gold Concordant, what's that? I could explain this, but we'll let her. The Great War. Only 30 years passed in already ancient history to most people. Seems to me like it just ended. It's never really ended for me. But to answer your question, the White Gold Concordat was the fancy name they put on the peace treaty between the Empire and the Thalmor. It ended the war and saved the Empire to fight another day also trampled on the sacred name of Talos, and gave the Thalmor free reign to stamp out Talos' worship throughout the Empire. Who are the Thalmor? Hmm, there's no simple answer to that. You want the long version or the short version? They're the rulers of the Aldmeri Dominion, what used to be the imperial provinces of Somerset Isle and Valenwood. The Thalmor take the arrogance of high elves to the extreme. They believe they are the rightful rulers of all of Tamriel. For a century or more, the Thalmor had been picking away at the Empire. Valenwood was the first, then the province of elsewhere. But even the Blades didn't see the Great War coming. We underestimated the Thalmor, and they destroyed us. Destroyed us. Mr. Tico, thanks for the $5, dude. Thank you for the player. Leaf through. Glad you're joining it, man. Lydia. Where were you all this time? Come over here. You should get out of the way of the door. This is the worst place to date followers. They always get trapped. One sec. Ooh. Ta da! It's Lydia! Yay! Alright, now we need to go outside. You prefer the original Delphine? Disgusting. I don't even remember what the original looks like, to be honest. Uh, right, so. Talk to Brynjolf, the Thieves' Guild. Riften. Now. Go to the stables, which we previously discovered. Hindsight, you know. Planning ahead. Lydia! Damn. Take my advice. What mods are you using? Um, they're mostly in the micro mod list, link down below. But it's kind of like a stripped back Another version. Run -in with the Thieves Guild. Be careful, Mio. The Thieves Guild has Maven Blackbriar at its back. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Riften Jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. Oh. I've never seen Miol this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. Miol. Visitors like us are rare in this part of Skyrim. Tell me about the Thieves Guild. To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rabble. What do you think? I agree. You know, I'm beginning to respect you. Other than Eren, you seem to be the only other person I've met I might be able to trust. Since we share the same opinion of them, let me warn you that they're recruiting others to join their guild, and you should be cautious. Oh, they're recruiting. Okay, awesome. Safe travels. The old told me that it isn't this. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. I'm not scared of you. What's it to you? Don't say something you'll regret. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in Great their accent, affairs. Yeah. Who are the Blackbriars? The Blackbriars have rifted in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? 
I'm Maul. I watch the streets for him. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. How about you tell me for free? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Oh, God. Just stay out of the Blackbriar's affairs. You'll live longer. Probably not kidding. Rudy, hey, thanks you, for the £10 donation. I want to talk to you. What are you talking about, man? Me? I'm here. I'm through with you. Get out of my way. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I'm really if you're looking for a handout, you'll want to speak with my husband. You said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. Lol. <laughs> Derek, son. Ah, oh, the Thieves Guild. You can if already tell who's in on it. To sell for a fair price. I run the pond brawn over by the market. Very well. Good to know. All right, we're going to need to venture into the rat away. Fact, one sec. Telling me to go to the inn. Let's head on inside. Oh, hello. Why are you following me? Scully, if you know what's good for you. Okay. Feeding. Isn't she the one with the Dwemer cube? If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. People if your allegiance it. lies with the Eat Empire, have you got the cheese though? Floor cheese! What's this? this Notice of cost Sandalini. increase? Irva. Oh, Kirva. That's not good. Yeah, what do you want? But this is about the metery. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying. Hey, lad. Hey, lad. Sorry, what? Your pockets. They're a little low on coin. Some sort I can of tell. These people must be made aware my wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's no. where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Return. Maybe you'd no like a taste. Them as an excuse to taste of what? Do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an I'll errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. We're not kicking you out. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. In peace. What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once mm. you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Break the law? Are you kidding? Sorry. I usually have a nose for this kind of thing. Never mind then, lad. If you change your mind, come find me. I've listened. No, what's he doing? Glad to see you finally came to your senses. I'm ready, ready Brynjolf. Let's do it. Actually, I'm looking for this old guy hiding out of Riften. Ah, expecting free information, eh? Help me deal with business first. Then we'll see how I can help you. Besides, you look like your pockets are a little light on coin. Am I right? Am I right, boys? Let me find him first. Dragons are bad for business, no? Persuade. Passing on a golden opportunity is worse. Until next we meet, lad. God damn, you can't convince this Simple. man. Once you have you to have do a it, stupid quest to steal a ring. someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. Why are we doing this to Bran Shea anyway? We've been contracted to make sure Bran Shea remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. No, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. I'll Very well, let's wait. Oh, you know, we'll morning. get a bed. You better be All right. too. Got a lot of bread and cheese there. Yeah. You're not from around here. Take some of that. Imperial I'll spy, put it perhaps. On your head. You're not from around here. Must be a Imperial spy. And confirm. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. All right, what lady. Can I get you? Got ten gold. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All right, which I'll room is it, Lydia? Right this way. 
Well, I think I'll guess. Thanks. Matt, thanks for the donation. What level do you think is the best to start any of the quest lines? What do you mean, like, any of the quest lines, though? Do you like, uh... Oh, this is not our bed. Idiot, it must be another room. It must be this one. I mean, to be honest, you, you can really beat any level. You can play the entire game through at level one. It's still possible. Oh, it's this one. Great. Let's go ahead and sleep for nine hours until the morning. Then we'll go and help rob a ring. What's your goal in game, though, bro? What do you mean? Doing the main quest line at the moment. You right? You're very pale. Very pale Argonian. No show. In town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. No. Let Never. Brynjolf. Okay, lad. Ready to make some coin? I'm ready. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Working okay. in the rift and fishery is Everyone. tough. Everyone. I had to put some coin in my pocket. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. You need to hear this. You need to hear it, Lydia. Even Lydia's coming no over. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. Please, please. You Welcome need to, to hear this. Home of the Thief's Guild. Or so they'd have you been. Are you ready, guys? Lies. They're just I'll swim! Is that what you wanted? Only 40 gold bounty. Doing quite well, brothers. Oh my god, Lydia. Jesus. How dare you. I can kill you, mate. Don't mess with me. You stupid Argonian. Oh my god. The guard just slo- I guess it's over. Must have, must have been the wind. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, what was I meant to be doing? I was meant to be doing something stealthy. Come over here, Lydia. And to be robbing someone. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. Ah, oh, mate, come on. I'm an orc. Why do I have to do this to I get him? Th ah! Back off. Come on, Brignol. What is it this time? I've been arrested. This is a rare I literally. There we go. You You're out of lockpicks. Lock okay, great. That I failed, Brynjolf. Please, please. Hold all your questions. Please, I need but a septum. A septum is Unless we can pickpocket the key. The problem is your disrespect for the laws of this land. It is time to face the Jarl's justice. I'd actually rather die. Skyrim has no use for your kind. That's a little bit racist. Kill him, Lydia. Don't stand for this, Lydia. Oh. Okay, okay. We're just going to go to the rat away ourselves. There's no way my orc can possibly join the festivities that Brynjolf is trying to make me take part in here. We'll go and find our own way to Espern. We know where he is. The rat aways we go. That's all we needed. Oh, there's a note here. Public notice, eh? A soul divided. Warning, stay out of the rat away. It has our attention, as misguided citizens have been venturing into the rat away late at night. Complicate matters, others have seen fit to spread rumors of their disappearance, staring up talk of ghosts and phantom haunting the sewers. We would remind you that the Rataway is not a safe place for commoners, and any talk of ghosts is nothing more than just tavern gossip. We will investigate the matter shortly, but in the meantime, take heed and do not enter the Rataway. Hmm, pretty sus. Oh, what's this? Yeah, it's it's from um, my own mod list, though, not from Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Just so you don't buy the game and get confused with how it should look. Kill him! Oh my god, Lydia, watch out! Oh my god! I think I just killed myself. I'm actually so sure how I died there. Or was it a bear trap? Interesting. 
D. I don't know, Drop. Uh, oh. Get Rex up. Oh, he's got a fire arrow. That's why he does so much damage. We literally cannot let him fire. Oh, get Rex up. Lydia, why are you like mounting me? Goodness me. Very kinky. My arrows. So overpowered, man. They literally just destroyed me. Orcish bow. Very nice. And Hawkborn Skeever. Nice bed area. Let's continue further into the dungeon. Blew the rat away. It looks like a trap, lady. I take care. We can unlock it or we can just open the door. Kind of wish you opened it. That would have been funnier. Oh, there's some gloves with an axe next to it. Interesting. Careful, Lydia. There's some cheese here. No one would leave a good cheese wheel to waste, Lydia. Must be a trap. Watch out, Lydia. There's a skeever. Oh. Jesus. Did he just stand on his own bear trap? <laughs> Gerexan! So this is, if you're doing like a, an unarmed build, this is the guy you want to kill. Gian the Fist. You see, he has the, the gloves of the Pugliest, which is the only weapon in the game that you can disenchant. So use the unarmed strikes. Do 10 additional damage enchantment. And if you increase the power of your enchanting skill, you can actually enchant all of your weapons with that mean you do even more damage let's just make sure we activate these bear traps because i don't want to stand on any i can't even see in the dark here we're safe now uh, there's another magic poison there an auto wine oh, what's that is that a cooking pot yes it is thank god finally we found a cooking pot okay so now we can finally i've been collecting all those uh, leeks, tomatoes, and stuff. Um, here we go. Vegetable soup. Requires cabbage, potatoes, leeks, and tomatoes. I've been collecting them this whole time to make tons of vegetable soup so that we can use this for battle, brothers. We have unlimited stamina whenever we block with our shield. There is a literal ghost in front of me. Is it a friendly ghost, though? Find the ghost in the Rataway. I think this is another Creation Club piece of content. Follow the ghost. No thanks. Celius. Celius's Confessions. We'll read it with his naked corpse next to us. <laughs> Seventh of Mournful Star. Fourth Era. 171. My son! I do not... This is, by the way, this is a Creation Club content quest. My son, I do not have long for this world... But before the winter's night embraces me, I would confess a great regret that burdens my heart for many years. Long ago, my brethren and I were commissioned to hunt down and ensnare a dark and powerful renegade captain. A man who once was a proud soldier and become corrupted by a powerful artifact and turned into a great darkness deed. We fulfilled our commission, but not without great cost. But I alone managed to survive the encounter, but in many years after I have followed this venture, that followed this venture, I have often wondered if our deed in ensnaring him was equally evil. But with others, with, with our combined enchantments, we have bound him to an eternity of misery. For we bound him to the guardianship of the very thing that drove him insane, the artifact. A powerful weapon that now, despite his yearning for it, he cannot yield. It is a cruel fate for a once great man. For he was just that until the grief and anger laid him bare to such utter corruption and malice. That story is a sad tale indeed. But now, these many years on, my heart sees the truth, and I would undo that what was done and free him from his misery. But alas, it is too late for me to take on such a quest. Therefore, I pray that you, my son, 
will do this task in my stead. I beg you as a father's last wish, seek him out and set him free, your father, Delius. Follow the ghost. And I think there's actually another quest. Where pets of Skyrim, we can have this little nasty looking skeever as a pet. Oh, there's some skooma here as well. And some food. Don't worry, Lydia will come back here at some point, I'm sure. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. Oh, God. How did that not kill me? I didn't know which way to run. Neither did Lydia, by the sounds of it. A mysterious iron axe in a log. Careful, Lydia. Get wrecked. Oh, brutal. Absolutely murdered that low life there. Also got a beggar book about sneaking. Pickpocketing, I can't remember which. More cheese. What are you doing? Pickpocket. A skeever cage key. Now we can open that. That pet skeever. Down for the trap, Lydia. Oh. Come with me. Now we have a little rat following us, Lydia. How awesome is that? Hopefully you won't die to all the traps I just triggered. We want to activate this lever. Make getting into the Rift and Rataway easier in the future. And then we can head into the Ragged Flagon. Oh, wow. Okay, that the water mod I've got looks amazing everywhere else in the game, but in here it looks terrible. My goodness. Hello there. Yeah. Can you train me in sneak? Just a random guy at the pub. Can you train me in sneak, please? Got a lot of nerve coming down here. People tend to get hurt in the rat way. I'm looking for an old guy hiding out somewhere in Rifton. Huh. Lot of old guys around. I don't really know how I can help. I need to talk to him. I'm a friend. Life is in danger. That's a touching story. Now get out of my face! Oh dear. We're gonna have to pay him. That's the only way we can get anything with these thieves. Around. I don't really know how I can help. Maybe this will jog your memory. Well, when you put it that way, I think I do know the old guy you're talking about. He's holed up in the Ratway Warrens. Hardly ever leaves the place. Has someone bring him food and such. Crazy old coot from what I've heard. For that to stand out down here, he must really be off his nut. Off his nut, eh? The old guy hiding out here. Where does he live? He's holed up in the Ratway Warrens. Be careful. You're not the only one looking for him. Hmm. Trinkets, odds and ends. Here we actually has for sale. Argonian blood wine. Ooh, lots of cheese. Lots and lots of cheese. Bread. Lovian brandy is very expensive. Let's just sell it to him. Wait, why have I only got 209 gold? Where did... I had like 4,000 gold. Did I forget to pick up my belongings from the chest? I did, didn't I? Oh dear. Stay out of trouble or there's gonna be trouble. Shipments arrived. Last person who made trouble for Veckel ended up with a smashed head. Okay. Bit rude. Okay. Oh my god, we're too late, Lydia. There's Thalma here. We're gonna have to save the game. Hope for the best. Careful, Lydia. Here we go. Get him! Get him! Ah! Die! Oh god. I was just trying to loot him. 
Well done, Lydia. Finish her. We need some stamina. Oh my god, the cheese we're healing is insane. Now I need some potions of stamina. Oh no, actually, we should drink our vegetable... Our vegetable food that we made. Our vegetable soup. Here it is. So it gives one point of health per second for 720 seconds in real life. Um, and it also restores one point of stamina for 720 seconds. Now, basically this means that you never have zero stamina. You always have one stamina, which is enough to block. Lol, did you leave it with Delphine? Again! And Lonnie, did you see my last playthrough? Yes, again. See, I can just keep smashing her. Great way of training my block skill, in fact. There we go, let's level it up. Finish her! Oh my god, what was that? Get Rex, you dirty Thalmor! Yes! He loves it, Lydia. I need you Still to do here? something. Yes, Thane. What is it? Still need me to do something? Yes. I'm right behind. Yes, Thane. What is it? Oh no, I need to trade my stuff Still with you. Still need me to do something? I've broken the game. Uh, no. All right. I've got your back. How can trade. I serve you, my Thane? I need you to... Carry these eight light armors. Lead on. That I have taken. From these. Oh my god, is this a dead Nord down here? Nice bed though. You can sleep here, Lydia. Can you make a blades playthrough? Everyone keeps asking this, potentially. I will do a vote on the community post. We'll have to vote on it, friends. Like we can't get down there. There's a way down here. Hmm. It just dropped. You are so annoying. Go find food. Wait for me in the city. In White Run. You nasty creature. All right. Let's see which way we can go down here very dark I must save Esburn he's in trouble with these Thalmor scum An apprentice lock no match for me oh hello there ah so tender come here you juicy morsel Idiot, do you want to... Oh, Jesus. That's Don't scare me, bro. That's all you got. Oh my god, get wrecked. Nice roleplay, though. I like it. I'm impressed. Had a grindstone in his room. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Constantly grinding his weapons, I guess. Go away. Esburn? Open the door, I'm a friend. What? No, that's not me. I'm not Esburn. I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay. Delphine sent me. The Thalmor found you. You need to get out of here. Oh, how reassuring. Most likely you're with the Thalmor. Well, this is just a trick to get me to open the door, huh? Well, persuading hasn't gone far, well, very well so far. <laughs> I'm one of the blaze been searching for. I'm the dragonborn. It's fast road the door open. Delphine said, remember the 30th of Frostfall. Ah, indeed. Indeed. Uh, I do remember. Delphine really is alive then. You'd better come yes, in then clear. and tell me how you found me and what you want. <laughs> no. This will just take a Never moment. Find. This one always sticks. There we go. Only a couple more. Hurry up, Esbert. What are you doing in there? 
There we are. Come in, come in. Make yourself at home. A hell of a door you have. Wow. Now we can talk. Impressive. So Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. The Thalmor have found you. We have to get out of here. What do you mean it's hopeless? Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Aldwin has returned, just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time, who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Aldwin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Yes. Alduin the dragon who's raising the others. No. Yes, yes. You see, you know, but you refuse to understand. You're talking about the literal end of the world, though. Oh, yes. It's all been foretold. The end has begun. Alduin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate as the plaything of Aldwin the World Eater. It's not hopeless, Esper. I am the dragonborn. What? You are? Can it really be true? Dragonborn? Imagine if we're just then, joking. Then Got there him. is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must, we must, we must go quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. Yes. May he just did a U-turn. After complete hopelessness. No, no useless trash. Where did I put my animal? After complete hopelessness, he's like, no. We can survive okay, now. We have the dragonborn. Ooh, taking this. Ooh, one hand the skill increase. Esper, you naughty boy. What have you been doing in here with all these rolls of paper? One moment. I know time is of the essence, but mustn't leave secrets for the Thalmor. There's one more I must bring. Um, well, secrets of the Thalmor, eh? Good enough. Let's be off. I'm just robbing you there, Esper. Be one second, okay? Uncommon taste. You do have quite the uncommon taste, as we discovered in our last playthrough. Ooh. Missions of Destruction. Very good. What else do you have in this shack of yours? Lost Legends is a good quest uh, book, if you're interested. Right. Let's get our build. Still got these bloody party clothes. Probably drop these on the floor, they're not really worth carrying around with us. Here we go. Is someone there? I don't know. Oh, watch out, Lydia. Oh, okay, I'll let him open the door. Maybe he has the key. I don't have the key. Jesus Christ. Oh, I didn't mean to kill her. Oh god, she's dead. Erect. Why have you got a bucket? Interesting. An inkwell and a bucket. Whoa! Goodness me. We've got to jump down here. Escape. Uh, Lydia. What's going on? Wait, who are you? They were golden even when they were dead but their blood was red now you'll pay. i knew it would be version of pickpocketing and light fee he's also got an imperial's officer helm ah so he used to be in the imperial it's hopeless he told me he's right you know I'm, I'm afraid of... who's there who's there Esper? how can i help you brother help. oh god we get through here? No, I did not remember where I am. Idiot. Follow me. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm coming. 
Don't worry, Esper. I will save you. I'm the dirty Dalmore wizard. Oh, interesting. Double kill cam. Get wrecked, son. Stab my own sword through my own shield. Like an absolute crazy orc. You know a way out of here. Yes, yes. We should proceed cautiously. Cautiously? You almost killed yourself. Me. Facts. What's so important about being Dragonborn anyway? Not yet, not yet. When we get to Riverwood with Delphi, I'll tell you both then. When I've collected my thoughts. I, I, I never expected... Well, suddenly here you are. And now I'm too muddled to explain myself. I still need some time to get used to the idea that there might be hope for us after all. So if you die, we're just completely screwed then. That's selfish. How are you? How, who are you and how do you know Delphine? Hasn't she told you? We were both blades, back when that still meant something. Now we are just fellow fugitives from the Thalmor. I didn't know she was still alive, but I'm not surprised. She was a survivor. She's a survivor. Yes, there is a Skyrim board game. I made a video on it on the main channel. You can find it. You go and check out the channel, or even just search for it. Type in Skyrim board game ESO. Why are the Thalmors so interested in finding you? Well, they've been hunting down Blaze since the Great War, on general principle. But if you mean me, now in particular, maybe they've started to get an inkling of what the return of the dragons means. I don't suppose they want the world to end any more than we do. Or at least, they'd prefer to end it on their terms. So what happened on the 30th of Frostfall? Give us the deets. It was a cold day. The end of Frostfall is nearly winter in the Jerol Mountains. We heard the news at Cloud Ruler by courier, riding hard from the Imperium City. 30th of Frostfall, 171. 30 years ago. The Great War started that day. The Thalmor ambassador delivered his ultimatum to the Emperor Titus Mead, the head of every Blades agent within the Old Murray Dominion. I knew that day that it was truly the beginning of the end. Get some G fuel quickly. He's level six with a level up. Yes, that's right. Just doing the main quest already halfway through Act Two, I think. At least halfway. We should keep moving. We should, Esburn. Let's go. Purposefully not leveling yet. There's the blades agent. Kill him. There's the blades agent. Get in. Oh, look, look, treasure stash, thieves shadow mark. Oh, but can we open it, Lydia? Obviously not. If we give Lydia a lockpick. She should be able to open it. We only have five left. Oh, it's just here. This is the sweet spot. Hallelujah. Oh my god. Oh, damn it, Lydia. There we go. Draven's bow. Ah, oh, this is a stupid quest item. That's going to be in my inventory forever now. Where are these silly. Ah, here he is. Going for him. Yeah. Ah. Don't even try it. Now more scum. Get wrecked, son. Shame it had to come to that. These are dirty Thalma. Are you sympathizing with the enemy? I'm almost out of this dark, cursed place. Come, Esburn, old man. Don't have all day. Thought this had already ended. No, my friend, we are still going. We're still going strong. Look, Eve's Guild. Shadow Mark. Shadow Marks are really interesting. Esburn. Yes? What is it? We should keep moving. Yes, come on then. Chop, chop. Get out of here. 
Show me the way. By the way, guys, G Fuel is actually 30% off this weekend, by the way. Use code ESO. Get that 30% off. I'm right behind you, mate. Come on. Yeah, I'll, I know the way. I'll just, just follow me, man. Here we go. Do you think you better buy the $200 Skyrim board game now or when it comes out? Well, I mean, if you're interested in buying it and want to play it, then I would buy it now because it's cheaper. Um, I'm going to be getting it anyway, and I want to do some more, more stuff on it, to be honest, when some friends come around. But um, it's completely up to you. Like, If you're not so sure it's for you and don't want to play it, then uh, obviously don't buy it. But if you're like interested in buying it, then I'd rather pre-order it because it's like considerably cheaper. Yes. What is it? Oh, you're following me. Okay, let's let's go to. Um... And full disclosure, by the way, the I want to. You cannot fast travel when enemies are nearby. Where are the enemies then? Okay, now I can walk. Okay, weird. Um, so the video I made about the tabletop game, link below that video, um, is actually an affiliate link as well. So I think I get like, what is it? It's 8% um, if you do choose to buy it. Um, but it supports a cool company. I mean, I actually have, oh, I don't have them on the table right now. But I have a miniatures painting channel and uh, they that company was to make Modifius, uh, they're called. They make Skyrim miniatures as well. Uh, and I've been painting those for years. So, I mean, I, ge like, I genuinely think these guys' products are really cool. I'm not just telling you that to buy the game. I would also suggest... If you don't think you're going to like it or you've not brought board games before, don't buy it, you know. Um, but if you think that you will enjoy it and you'll buy it anyway, buy it early because it saves you money. It just makes sense, right? Delphine. Delphine. <laughs> Why, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. This way. That's what you do, isn't it, mate? <laughs> Up top, Delphine. Oh god, I actually walked ahead of her. That was impressive. Come on then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god, no, Lydia. You've broken the quest. Huh? Are we doing this? Now then. I assume you know about... Oh, yes. Dragonborn. Indeed, yes. Oh, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose. So we must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment. Um... Ah, here it is. Come, let me show you. How? You Where was he hiding that? Like, come on. He's like, oh, yeah, let me just... It's right up my ass crack. Like, how, where else was he hiding that big ass book on his person? Get your stuff. Thank you. I, I shall. Skyhaven Temple. Constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps in the Reach during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? Shh. This is where they built Aldrin's Wall to set down and stone all their accumulated dragon a hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event. Despite the far-reaching fame of Aldrin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world, its location was lost. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Aldrin's Wall? Either of you? Let's pretend we have it. What's Alduin's Wall, and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? 
Alduin's wall was where the ancient blades recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. Part history, part prophecy. His location has been lost for centuries, but I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The Blades archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Well, yes. But there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the Reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Karthspire in the Karth River Canyon. We can meet you there, or all travel together. Your call. Uh, I'll meet you at Karthspire. Your call. Might be safer to travel separately. Attract less attention. Don't worry, I'll get Esbern there in one piece. We'll wait for you near Karthspire. Good luck. No one of consequence. Thank you so much for the donation, my friend. Why is Mojol the Lioness so ugly? Do you, do you have a mod that did that, or was it a change made in Anniversary Edition? Um, it's called Bajin um, Followers or something like that. It's It changes all the characters, uh, their faces, stuff like this. Uh, I can't drop this. Orgnar, this I'm right let behind me you. trade some yes, stuff. Then. What is it? Never back Still need me to do something? Ah, well, oh, I don't know. I've got your back. I am at your command. Wait, where was the... Oh, no, it's still here. I thought you'd lost everything, Lydia. I was very angry at you for a second. I have one of my baskets, there you go. I'll give you this bowl. Cast iron pot that you can also carry because I hate you. Have these ten... Oh wait, you're going to put the helmet on? Oh, we're going to have to carry those helmets for you then. Ooh. Give you this as well. Have all of these thermal robes. Enjoy. Right, we need to get, take the elven helmets from her. Oh, wait. Why are you in this? Yes, Thane. What is it? I need you to remove the thalm the robes of the enemy. Right you. Jesus, Lydia. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Uh, apparel? Why would she put this on? It literally... You're going to start casting destruction spells, Lydia. Let's get going, then. Okay. Now we're good. Let's head over to this ruin. He can keep me warm in the snowy mountains. What more could a man want? So we have to go over here to Carthspire, but to do that we must go to Morfowl, my friends. We need to go to Whiterun and sell some stuff. Elijah! Welcome back to the stream. Thanks so much for the fucking huge donation, bro. $50. Love the channel. Hopped on late, but glad to see you're still streaming. Glad that you could have time Good to morning. hop on too, man. Got Let's I sell some claim. stuff. Take a look. Uh, I need to get my stuff from Lydia now. To check Pack the mule, come here. How can I serve you, my thane? I need one of these elven maces. No, just give me. Yep, yeah, there we go. Nice one. You lead, I'll have you met my? Take a look. I have not met your father. No. Oh, destruction! What do you actually have? That's good. Pickpocket increase. Increases your health by 30 points. I mean, that's quite good at this point in the game. Um, we have some new armor there. Aerial gauntlets. Still soldier armor. Quite expensive. Plate helm looks quite nice. Turns of armor does look cool. It's very Dark Souls-like, isn't it? Alright, we are going to sell you 10 of these. You do have enough gold. Well done. Selling you the weapon of the enemy. Enjoy. Orcish bow, don't need that. I'm not an orc. He only has six gold left, fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and put on 
our bag as well because that increases right, our carrier weight even further the hairy bag I need to go to the carriage man and get a lift to Morthal. Not Morthal, Marka. Beautiful. Yeah, I installed some grass mods to stop any lagging, by the way. Which is why White Run isn't looking very nice right now. Anyone having problems with black screen after loading the game? So many people have been asking me about that. I can take you to any so yeah, loads of people have that problem. Go on Reddit, maybe have a look. Where do you want to go? It could be mods though as well. Markarth is only twenty gold. It's like on the other side of Skyrim. I'll take Climb it. Climbing back and we'll be off. Climbing back, Barbador. Ever been to Markarth? Some say it was built by the dwarves. I don't believe a word of it though. Bullshit. Built by the dwarves. No dwarves. I'm from Lydia. Lydia, the beard of dwarfs. Alright, we gotta wait until daytime, friends. My hairy bag. Yeah, hairy bag. I'll show you in a second. Sounds really weird, doesn't it? Beautiful. Right, so we need to go to Sky Ruler. Um, oh, Sky Haven Temple, sorry. So, let's save the game here. This is Markarth traveling. Harry back, look. Safest city in the reach. Safest city in the reach. Yet when you walk in, it is not true. It is not the case. Looks like he's off to school. Yeah, yeah, it does, sadly. There's like a school backpack. Not great. Not a great look, is it? No lollygagging. No lollygagging. Do brawler gauntlets actually do something like stagger enemies? Because description says the impact. What you mean the the new creation club brawler gauntlets? They don't actually do anything beyond the enchantment that does unknown damage, unless you found one with the unique enchantment. I don't know. It could be. I haven't like fully explored it, so there could be a bit more to it. Eats the eye. Look at this goat. Get wrecked. I'm if you goat. Ah, oh, do you know what? Can't catch him up. Aw, oh, get wrecked, mate. Now slaughter him. I missed. I missed the stationary object. Your goat is mine. That is Skyhaven Temple, right on the top of the cliff face just there. Just beyond the mist. A beautiful area indeed. But to get to it is a bit trickier. And drop off this ledge. There's a secret boat down there. I've had bad experiences with the water being very shallow there. Oh, it's just deep enough. A secret chest. A silver ingot. And a mead barrel with one Nordic mead. Potions. Now, usually there's some gems in here. And, um, sometimes a strong box. I don't know where they're running off to with all these gems. Here it is. There's a satchel. Ah, I took the ore. Oh, well. Here's the strong box with an adept lock, which I won't even bother wasting your time with, chat. Jesus, Lydia. That was a bit terrifying. He's got those flaming arrows on, so I can't wait for her to kill us later. Well, that'll be exciting for you guys. First time I played this game, I had a mage from Azora follow me. She was wicked, but to be honest, and couldn't use her for the thief skill, she would just attack me for stealing something. Oh, God, that was actually a really old bug. Followers would attack you if they had, like, you know, like a good standing in a certain area. Just attack you. Even if they're following you. It wasn't very helpful at all. Not at all. Can you upgrade for special edition disc? Yes, I believe so. I don't know how it works though. Oh my goodness, there's a bloody dragon, Lydia. Oh god. Okay, the Forsworn are actually attacking it, which is good. One of them has summoned a Frost Atronach to kill it. Look at them go. Amazing. We need to be careful, Lydia. 
when this dragon lands, we can kill it. But until then, we need to wait for these guys to... Oh, God, it's going to breathe fire on us, idiot. Oh, God. Potion of healing. And take out these four swarm. This scabbly dressed lady. I will do my worst. She's too busy trying to kill the dragon. Oh god, that's gonna kill me. I think it killed her, actually. Now she's dead. Oh, what? She got instant killed there. Out of nowhere. Surprise indeed. Ah, okay, we're going to have to run around there. I'll save the game this time. Can't be bothered to pick up the gems. I will kill the dragon. It's just got to land first. Literally insta-kills me with its flame attacks. And I've decided to play a warrior character that only uses melee. Big rip indeed. Run, Dragonborn. Reachwind Eyrie is up there. You can just see it over the clouds. One crispy boy. Here it is again. One naughty dragoon. He's attacking just me this time. As you can see, he absolutely barbecues us. Look at all those enemies, man. Oh, God. Oh! I was literally going to save that. Oh, boy. It's not going well for our orc build, is it? I think no defense against magical attacks. Whoa. I reckon we just get inside and deal with these guys later. I may need to level up between streams. Otherwise. Wait, how did you get there, Lydia? Interesting. What quest are you doing? We're doing the main quest. To get to Cloud Ruler Temple. Some mods do work, but not all of them. Here's the bloody dragon again. I need to be honest, I could probably solo this with Lydia. Just needs to land, really. And that's not it landing. I really can't do anything against that. Oh, that's going to kill me. It hits me underwater too. Just a bit of. Oh god. I mean, I could level up actually. To save myself from dying. Um, We need some more health right now. That is imminent. And stamina. What do I want to go for? I think we're going to need the block ability. Quick Reflex is very useful. But I can't get it until level 30 block. We're going to save those perks, I think, for now. The level up hill isn't actually good enough to save us, friends. But the bottom of this bridge may be. Oh, there he comes. We've saved ourselves. The Blood Dragon's still getting pelted by these Forsworn enemies. Which bodes well for us, friends. We just can't really be getting caught in the open like this. Ah, oh, he's landed. Perfect. Okay, we could go and kill him now. Swim over there. 
Can you please ask a question? Yeah, of course you can, man. You do realize that level ups will save you? Yeah, but sometimes my health drains like in seconds and I literally don't react to it. I mean, it's Skyrim, not Dark Souls. We really need this guy to land. He should crash land around here. This is like the only area big enough for him to land in. Here he comes. Oh, oh, there goes my health. Yeah, there he goes. Right, we're going to have to use some potions of healing. And stamina. Literally does nothing. We need the vegetable soup, actually. Where are you, vegetable soup? This will do the job. I can level up my um, blocking right now. Oh god, no, come on. You're not over here too, are you? Shut up. Oh, mate, all the Forsworn are coming over now as well. Oh, Jesus. Oh, god. If he, the dragon's going to have to kill it for me? Oh, thank god. The dragon's genuinely helps me out there. Otherwise, we would be dead. We're going to have to let the dragon kill. Oh, no, it's executed me. <laughs> oh, my god. God, get wrecked. Oh, I thought the dragon would help me kill them, but it is not the case, alas. Yeah, we're just going to have to go inside this cave because there's no way we can kill this dragon right now. Just because all these mages are around. Run for your life, dragonborn. Get inside the cave. I mean, I can kill it later when I have Dragon Rend. But now, we're going into Curse Spire. Absolutely destroyed us, mate. Alright, this is going to be a battle in itself. Oh, wow, that was so much easier. Compared to anyone on the outside. A Rexon. It's, a, it's Esper. He's here to save us. Can't you lower the difficulty? I could, yeah. Welcome, Curtis. Thanks for becoming a member. Ah, it's a puzzle. Yes, definitely early Akaviri stonework here. We've got to get this bridge down. These pillars must have something to do with it. What do you think, Lydia? Yes, these are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. You have the symbol for king and warrior, and of course the symbol for dragonborn. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. So, arrow shape downwards. Yes, that's it. The symbol on the middle pillar. Aha, Whatever we've lit did, the braziers. Let's see what those old pillars left in our way. Got my school bag ready. Come on then, Esper, you lead the way, old man. What's your personal favorite build? Hmm. Stealth Archer, definitely. But like they're just so good to play. Oh god, this looks safe. I will test it. Oh, Esper. Why are you stopping? We should be careful here. See these symbols on the floor? We'll cross once it's safe. Are you going to test it then? Be I have an idea, Espen. You may not like it, but it's the best idea we have. I don't think it was safe. I don't think it was self safe Let's keep moving. It wasn't safe. It started to look like everything was right. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, look at him, he's crawling towards us. 
Oh no! <laughs> Is it safe, first man? Check if it's safe. Once it's safe. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, let me check. I think we've got to use the Dragonborn symbols, right? I figured out, Espen. No, Espen. No, you're doing it wrong, Espen. Oh god, Espen, no! Oh! Be careful. <laughs> Everyone is dead! Oh my god, Espen. I'm gonna make the jump. Oh! Oh my god, it's absolutely destroyed us! Holy moly! Wait. Why are you stopping? We should be careful here. Yeah, Something yeah, I tell me about it, Esbern. We should definitely be careful. Esbern's right. Look like pressure plates. Be careful. Don't you dare walk on the mess, Burn. Look safe now. Let's move. Uh, oh Stupid old man getting us killed like that. Oh, look at this Sky Haven Temple. A beautiful day. Wonderful, remarkable. Hope it's not trapped. Spell tone, choking grass. Absorb eight points of health per second from the target for three seconds. It sounds like some kind of Jedi force move. Ah, here's the blood seal. Another of the lost that can be rewards. No doubt it's triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Look Try here. Blood you see how the ancient blades revered Reman Cyrodiil? This whole place appears to be a shrine to Reman. It's coming to life. I think we'll see Arangar dancing in here. Let me get let me get my uh, torch out. Did you just become Darth Vader? I think I could. Oh, ancient doors. Have some monies, cause why not? Thanks, Dogger, for the donation, bro. Let's go. The Skyrim best start video and all my Skyrim guides work on whether you're on PC, console, anything. Fascinating. Original Akaviri bar reliefs. Almost entirely intact. Amazing. You can see how the Akaviri craftsmen were beginning to embrace the more flowing Nordic style. We're here for Alduin's wall, right, Esbern? Uh, yes, of course. We'll have more time to look around later, I suppose. Let's see what's up ahead. Let's have a look, Esbern. See what we can find in this ancient tomb. Imagine discovering someone like this. I mean, look at Alduin's wall. It looks amazing. Shores bones. Here it is. Aldrin's wall, so well preserved. Huh? I've never seen a final example of early second era Kaviri sculpture of relief. Esbern, we need information, not a lecture on art history. Yes, yes, let's see what we have. Yes, yes. The dragons were born and ruled over men. I see them dying in the fire here. 
Look, here is Aldrin. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, when Aldrin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their dragon overlords, the legendary Dragon War. Aldrin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. Now, you see, here is falling from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragon. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the new of Alduin and his turn. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? No, I've never heard of anything like it. Very bits may know that. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. What do you have against the Greybirds? If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septum. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? This is quite interesting because Delphine seems to think this, but Arangar literally told us before we left, you've been blessed by Akatosh, so you need to use your powers. As long as you're using your powers um, that Akatosh has gifted you with, then, you know, you'll, you'll please the gods. So I think he knew that we were destined to, to do positive things with it. Not afraid of my own power. Power is dangerous, though. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains. Those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. I'd better go and see what Arangar knows about this shout then. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not she likely to help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last Dragonborn contends with Alduin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Elfin? You might learn something of our own history. really cool there's a lot of things this is basically like um think of it a bit like uh a description of things that have come to pass but things that may come to be as well you can actually see Nemidium up here from morrowind part of lorcan within it then uh, this is the oblivion gates and you see just above it there that's the white gold tower um of the imperial city that's when the oblivion invasion happened um, there's there's a few other little details as well. Obviously, you've got the blades here. Um, and then this is obviously us, the Dragonborn, battling against Alduin. Be the fate. This is him shouting to, to bring down Alduin, the World Eater. That is what the mystery must uncover next. Glorious indeed, Delphine. So we can now get Dragonrend. Is somewhere in here, I believe. I don't I can't remember where. One of these rooms, I think. Yeah, here it is. Dragon Rend. So, this mace etiquette. Is that one handed? 
Yes, it is. Good. Um, and then, oh, we got the blades armor. We got a blade shield. Much better than our current blades helmet, blades armor, blades boots, and gauntlets. Where's Lydia? Where's Lydia? We need her to. Oh, there she is. Can't even bloody How see that, Lydia. You, my pain? Terrifying. I don't want to equip it, I want to give it to Lydia. To so Dragon's Bane, quickly. 20 points of extra damage to dragons. 10 points of shock damage to others. It also has 20 damage. So you're doing like 40 damage in total at like level 6, which is really big. If you get this, if you come here at a later level before you enter Skyhaven table, Temple, um, you'll actually be able to get a more powerful version of Dragon's Bane. I think it goes up to like 40 damage of shock, which is the highest in the game, making it one of the best weapons in the game against dragons. So very effective indeed killing dragons oh we should probably put on this bag which looks crap you know doesn't look very good i'll give you my gauntlets of smithing actually lydia you can carry those around what else don't we need a lot of potions Right. You lead, I'll follow. We now have the full blades armor. Have a little look. Love the back of it. An old grizzled orc in this armor set. And stand over here, actually. Very awesome. This is a retexture mod, by the way. I think it's a midden retextured. Looks really nice though. Look at the detail on the, the sleeves. Also the shield as well. Damn. Cool Celtic patterns there. Why no survival mode? Just not interested in playing survival mode on this particular character right now. Go through like five torches in one area, mate. We. What is it? So this is all the blades. Two people. The Thalmor hunted us down. Remember, it wasn't exactly great for recruitment, but we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the blades someday. Good luck with that. Maybe I can help find new recruits. If you find anyone you think would make a good recruit, I can certainly take a look at them. Remember, though, being a blade is a lifelong commitment. Their loyalty has to be with us once they're in. I brought someone to induct into the blade. Should we make Lydia a blade? I know the prophecy by heart. Once all blades knew it. Still God, here. we need to take your helmet off because it looks really bad. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Oh, bless you, Lydia. You really are, aren't you? Oh no, now she oh, no, just going then. Just stay in that, Lydia. Makes you happy. Let's leave through the top entrance. Skyhaven Temple. We've got all the beds in here. Do they all have all oh, child's doll? Okay. Bit weird. Bit sus. Or he gets S burns here. He likes children. No keep Lydia. <laughs> Someone said yes, though. Let's right, head up to the top of Skyhaven Temple. An open Skyrim. Here we are. Top of the temple itself. A beautiful looking ruin. In fact, if we come out here, you see all the way back to Markath. That was the boat down there we found earlier. What do you think, Lydia? Esburn coming towards us. Cool. There it goes. Just move this. Over here. Nice. There we go. Esburn wants something from us. 
You're right, old man. Hey, did you say something? So important about being dragonborn. Any advice for fighting dragons? You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. I doubt the blessing's effects would last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. I need the dragon slaying blessing. May the scales of the dragon kind splinter at the touch of your arrows and crack under the weight of your sword. That's, That's it? all there is to it, Dragonborn. Good luck. That's it? Very good. Well, it actually worked, because we have the Dragon Slayer Blessing now. 10% increased critical hit chance versus Dragon, so five days! It's five in-game days, though. Skyhaven Forge discovered. We can make ingots. Very nice. Diddy, I think I keep thinking there's a bloody Thalmor spy following me. Look at this. Amazing. You can also see, when we're here, different backpack types, animal packs, arrows, we can even craft fishing rods as well. I like the shell bulk helmet. And then we have the different versions of leather. See, this is new leather scout armor and hoods. Currently, I can't craft anything beyond this, um, but worth having a look at anyway. Oh, they have the Dragonstone tablet here. That's cool. Helps on leather storage. This is JK Skyrim. I think she's added this into the game. Make it look even cooler. All right, then. So now... Have a look at our quests. We must talk to Arangar. And he may tell us to seek... Fate's knowledge... At the throat of the world. There never was a forge there. It's out of biomod. Go and head on inside. It's covered in snow. Look, that's cool. Covered in white stuff. Arangar was very enjoyable. When he found that food down there. Where is Arangar? Arangar. Sky. Guard you. I need to learn the shout used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Oh, uh, um, uh, 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 it was recorded on Alduin's wall. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? The blades are helping me. I'm not their puppets. The blades just want to defeat Arduin, don't you? At least the blades aren't keeping secrets from me. Yeah, Arangar. Mm. Yeah, the blades just want to defeat Arduin. What's his perspective on that? What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Arduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. So you won't help me? No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Oh, he thinks he's so wise. Anith disagrees. Dragonborn, wait. Uh, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. You are emotional. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. So you can teach me this shout? No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend. 
but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrand holds no place within the way of the voice. I thought you knew all the words of power. Yeah, I agree. It's quite dark. I'd rather it be lighter, but I mean, this is um, High Throfgar, which is literally just made out of stone. It's like one of the darkest places in the game. Plus, when you have an EMB turned on, it's even darker. I thought you knew all the words of power, Arangar. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. What the hell is going on here? What's so bad about Dragonrend? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. The shout is lost. How can I defeat Alduin? No one consequences. Thank you for the donation. Majol, not so sure if you noticed, but J's in Skyrim are pronounced like a Y. Yes, no, you're right. Should know this by now, but yeah, I do not. So I just keep failing it at this. I keep on saying Yarl or Jarl. <laughs> There's some things I know, but other things, um, it will definitely slip past me. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. Very well. Who the hell is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. I need to speak with him. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But, thanks to the blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. Why haven't I met him yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him then? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Very well. Teach me your powers, Arangar. Drinking wine up here, eh? Yeah, let I turn this off. There we go. Now you can see without the EMB. The lighting's a lot worse, but you can see. But versus having it on, lighting's so much nicer. Much more realistic. Into the cathedral courtyard we go. Outside? E and B. Where are we going to learn this great shout? I've literally come in Blade's armor. I mean, I wasn't trying to hide the fact that I started working with the Blades. A lot of people want me to side with the Blades in this playthrough because we've never done it. I have never killed Parthenax there. Do not intend to either. But if you guys want to see it, we could do it. path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. I wonder he's so lonely. Don't let anyone else see him. Show me Arangar. Oh. Or reveal to me the words. Clear skies! Fantastic! Thank you, Arangar. Battle brother. The words wait. I mean, you've already taught it to me, mate. But thanks. Uh, shouts. Clear skies.
Oh, what's that? I need to learn the f like, final word. Here we go. I will grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Ooh. My final gift, the ugliest of orcs. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Very well, I shall do as you command. Let us quickly no, we'll wait here for an hour till it's daytime. Boom, sun is rising. Now it's even more epic. And we can activate clear skies. Goodbye. Student has become the teacher. Look. Oh god, I'm dying. No, we're okay, thank god. Fork to Parthenax, we have cleared the way. Let's venture onwards through the mists of the mountain. The mist. Oh Jesus. Look. Clear the way. I uh, don't take damage from the frost. Look. Get out of my way, weather. Oh, look at this. Amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ow. What? How did you do that? A dirty Thalmor! Disgusting! Oh my god! Look at her bouncing off the cliff edge! Jesus. There's no way she's coming back. She's definitely dead. You only need to use the first word to clear the way. That is good information, my friend. Hades, thank you for becoming a member. Oh, oh, I'm taking damage again. Don't worry, we'll escape. We'll escape this place. Oh! Oh, oh they... Because oh, there's not... We don't have that mod install that gets rid of the stupid death spin. God Howard is a blessing. Look at him. He loves it. Let's do it again. Let's see how far we can project Lydia. Ready? How do we want to fire our guys? I want to see her like fly down the mountain. Oh, that was a solid rust. God. Losing track of her. Oh, look at her. She just flies off the side. Oh, wow. She's actually disappeared out of range. Or should we keep her dead? What do you guys think? Lydia, no. I think she's fine. Uh, right. Yeah, clear skies. That's what we would, we, that's what we were meant to be doing. Oh, there's a, a tight bridge, Lydia. Be careful. Be careful. Look. Oh, watch out, Lydia. It's a nice wraith. Sorry, Lydia. Sorry, Lydia. She's got to kill it, man. Where's my blade sealed? Hello? There we go. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my god, look at that. I can see the rift from here. See Riften? All the way at the end there. Oh, watch out, Lydia. Don't worry, Lydia. I'll save you. Well done. We are no match for these wraiths. Oh. 
Ha! They're in that weather like it's nothing. The view is 10 out of 10, Lydia. I will take you here again someday, I'm sure. Oh, is there a dead mountain goat? A little bit sad, isn't it? Lydia, look at this. There's quite a view. Oh my god, Lydia, look! 7,000 steps to Hythrothgar. Where are you, Lydia? Why are you hiding? You don't seem to want to stand at the edge there. I've got your back. Yes, Thane. What is it? Yes, my Thane? Come here. You just stand just here. Okay, got it. Alright, stand here. Just here, Lydia. Why are you so awkward? Stand here. You know what? That'll do, Lydia. That will do. See how far uh, we get. Uh, uh, oh my god! Jesus Christ, she's going to have to climb the 7,000 steps again. I was thinking I could probably hit her to Iverstead, but it doesn't seem like it's possible. I need to increase my power tenfold. I'm on your side. Oh, I didn't realize, sorry. Carry on. Up this mountainous journey we need to undertake. Man, Parthenax really doesn't want any visitors, does he? Whoa, Jesus Christ, Lydia. Killed me there. Watch out, Lydia. I sense another ice wraith up ahead. He's on to me. He's dressed up like a Thalmor, the dirty elf. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. That's not good. Gotta wait for the clear sky shout to disappear. We can reuse it. Isn't that so, Lydia? I'm on your side. Look! Ah! Quickly, Lydia. While the fog is cleared. You're going to take her on in the middle of the YouTube stream, you naughty, naughty boy. Always. Don't even question. Look at this view, man. Oh, this is a this is a nice one, Lydia. Come here. Come stand over here. Yeah, just there. That's perfect. Oh my god, yes. Exactly what I needed. Oh my god. Look at that rolling down the mountain. <laughs> oh my god, she actually disappeared. Oh, she's dead now. We're not reloading. Rip Lydia. I think we're almost at the top as well. Oh, what's that? Oh no, it's just a flag. You got excited then. This is the perfect spot. Here we go. Oh, no, no, we failed. Almost. Oh! Oh, the, the spinning anima animation makes it look so bad. Yeet! Don't worry, Lydia, we still love you. Too bad there isn't a mod to make people turn into giant snowballs as they go down a mountain. I mean, that would be insane, right? Can you imagine how fun that would be? Oh, actually, you can do that. One sec, let me. Ah, one sec. Um, there's a certain... I can't remember the name of the plant. Uh, there's there's actually a way to do this. I, I'll, um, I just need to quickly... I can't remember the name of the plant, though. Uh, paralysis. I need a food that paralyzes me. Can't remember what food it is that does that. Oh, net jelly. Net jelly. Okay, there we go. I, I, you can send yourself down a mountain like a snowball. I'll show you. Um, we're gonna do it now. Just can't remember. I'm gonna have to use console commands here, guys. I'm sorry, but for the sake of showing this to you, it's well worth it. 
Um, I don't know what load order this is. It's probably 04. 01, PD, 17. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Um, magic. Ingredients. Natch jelly. So basically, um, Natch jelly has uh, an effect. The first effect of this item is it paralysis. So if you eat it, you paralyze yourself. So what we're going to do, we're going to come over here. We're going to use the whirlwind sprint shout. We're going to paralyze ourselves after that. And we're going to turn into a snowball. You ready? Off. Oh, I'm holding down the trigger, but it's not working. Bear with me. Oh no, come on, does it? One sec. I have to do this another way. First out. Do I not have the full. I do have the full version of Whirlwind Sprint, or do I not? Oh, I only have the first. Ah, that sucks. Here we go. Oh, one sec. That's weird. It should paralyze me, but it didn't. Oh, what is going... Like, is that... That's not meant to play like that. Is it because I'm in god ah. mode? Or do I have a certain mod on? I wonder. Because usually it just ejects you. It must be god mode. Oh, no, come on. Let me reload. It's really fun to do. For some reason, I cannot. Oh, no, that's the wrong shot. Magic, shouts. Are you done? There we go. We're on sprint. We don't need to wait. I mean, we still need to wait. He said mostly has some graphics enhancements mods, yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, that, now it works. Thank you. <laughs> Wee! Ah, the loading screen. We need the mod that disables the. What? No. <laughs> Why is it loading back in the sky? Intriguing, intriguing, Lily. Anyway, let's carry on going up this mountain. 17 time lucky indeed. Use T I M, not T G M. Toggle God mode. Why? Oh my god, I'm getting stunned the fuck out of it. Oh Jesus, it's gonna kill me. Why am I still taking damage? Can I walk through now? Thanks, Bethesda. Pock, quest smoke. Yeah, yeah, that, that's how you get to the testing room. Infinite loop death, indeed. I don't know why it spawned me. That's kind of weird, right? Anyway, here we are now at the top of High Throthgar. We'll have some more fun with that after. Don't worry. Oh. Drem Yolok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? My Strunmach. I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. You're the master of the Greybeards. They see me as master. Wuth Onik, old and wise. It is true I am old. 
Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I can... I need to learn the Dragon Wren shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. Not for Tinvark. Look at this beautiful dragon. Yeah, thanks, Bob. I will do it again afterwards. Um, I, I, I know have what you mean. Spoken. The Rotmulag waits. Let me learn it. A gift, Dovahkiin. You'll understand fire as the Dove do. War powers. Strike me with the fire of your thum. Strike me with the fire of your thum. Yo! Ah, yes. Sosedo of Lost Mool. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. <laughs> he smiled. <laughs> it's like. Yo! Giving you some hot air there. What a beautiful creature, Parthenax is. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, Dragon Blood. What would you ask of me? Can you teach me the Dragon Wren shout? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. How did you know I came for Dragon Rem? The Greybeards didn't want me to come at all. Mm, yes, they are very protective of me, Bachlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek, Croesus. It cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Mention Croesus there, who is the dragon priest. How can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this thum? It's none of your business. I need to stop Alduin. Yes, Alduin, Zembach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Prophecy says that's only the Dragonborn can stop him. Mm, true, but Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak. Just because you can do a thing does not always mean you should. 
Do you have no Wise. better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? I didn't come here to debate philosophy with you. What better reason to act than to fill my destiny? I mean, that is so... I don't believe in destiny, but I will stop Alduin. And so perhaps your destiny will be fulfilled. Who can say? Des Motmahus, even to the dove who ride the currents of time, destiny is elusive. Alduin believes that he will prevail with good reason, Rachmul. And he is no fool, ni me, Rinnik Gutnol, far from it. He began as the wisest and most far-seeing of us all. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? No, dragons like mountains though, right? I never thought about it. You said you were going to answer my question. <laughs> dragons like mountains. Mm, true, but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Using the Dragon Ren shout, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. Mm. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. An Elder Scroll? What is that? You're saying the ancient Nord sent Arwen forward in time? He created a time womb. Mm, not Dragon intentionally. Break. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Interesting. You've been here way before that, then. What's this now to scroll, though? Hmm. How to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelle, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suryek. Hmm, how does any of this help me? I just wish they added more DLCs like Dawn Guard and Solfheim. Yeah, dude. 
For sure, we would all love more storyline DLCs that are canon and have voice acting and new awesome weapons to discover. You guys know the Greyborns, the Greybeards are a dragon cult, right? Yeah, well, they worship dragons like any cult, right? Like, uh, I guess you could say the church is a cult if you like. A group of people. Or could you? I don't know. How many mods do you have installed? Not many, actually. Probably like several. The EMB is the main graphical enhancement. How does any of this help me, Parthenax? T. De Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to... Cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Ah, a smart dragon. Jimmy, thanks for the donation. Always enjoy your stream. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Do you know where I can find an Elder Scroll? Perhaps we could ask at the library. Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Hmm, Espern or Arangar might have some idea. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. What do I do when I find the Elder Scroll? Come here and open it, I guess. Return it here to the Teed Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Teed Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragon rend in the power of its first expression. And we can finally battle dragons, brothers. You will see them, Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleth, Feldir. Haken, Gormleth, and Feldir, who are they? By the way, I saw some people in the chat talking about Parthenax's voice. Yeah, he's actually voiced by the same person who voices Mario. The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun, the Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. Yeah, I agree. I think if I could replay any game again for the first time, like experience it completely blank, it would be like Oblivion or Skyrim. That would be awesome. How could an Elder Scroll cast Alduin free time though? Vormendark, I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. Hmm. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. Oh, rabid werewolf. Thanks so much for the huge $50 donation support there. And Monster, thanks for becoming a member of the Battle Brothers. That's a huge dono, dude. Thank you so much. You mean you were there? Yes. There were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin's Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us. 
Neov. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. Josh, welcome to the Battle Brothers, Josh. And Hades, thanks for another donation, friend. Videos have helped a lot, always enjoy them. Thank you. I'm really glad that you still enjoy them, man. What does Dragon Wren Shout actually do? Going after this shout, I've no idea what it does. I mean, we know from the wall that it brings down dragons to the earth. I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Korgon. It was the first thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. You're the master of the Greybeards. Do others come here to train? Mm. I the have taught comes the way of the, the voice district. for centuries and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. This is Arangar's gatekeeping? You are the first in over a hundred years. Arangar, ten out of gatekeeper? on the Rotmulag, <laughs> the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on words, how? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Yes. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Fime, and Yol. Plus. Any, 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 any. It is called force in your tongue, but as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Alexander, thanks for becoming a battle brother here on the channel. I wish to meditate on a word of power. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fame. Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remain. Ponder the meaning of spirit. Unslad zee. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. I feel like, how could I kill Parthenax? Greetings. I feel like, how can I kill Parthenax? He's just so lovable, Which you know? Calls to Even you if I intended to kill him, Vus what fine, reason could I give my character for killing him? It's just such a nice dragon. Let's meditate on Yol. In your tongue, the Near word the simply means fire. <laughs> it is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Soljek, power, you have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. 
What will you burn? What will you spare? Turned. All right. Often acts as like a grandpa. It's actually. Look, Thum. Look at him. What a beautiful, majestic beast. You want a chin rub? Who's a good boy? Oh. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Look at him. He's nuzzling me. Oh, about that. Speak. I <laughs> will listen. Oh. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Oh, Bartonax. Alexander, thanks for ten dollar donation. Thank you so much. Zoom Ark Mora. Look at him, he's just a legend, isn't he? An absolute unit. Dirty Thalmor. Killer. Right, right, guys, 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 guys. We need to. We proceed. So we have two options now. We can either. Well, we can learn the location of an Elder Scroll. We have an option to talk to Espern or um, Arangar, the Blades, or um, or the uh, the Greybeards. Wave the voice. So that is our next choice: is to figure out who we want to side with, my friends. A very important decision. But first. Have an equally important one. Oh, items. Uh, miscellaneous. Net jelly. Where's the net jelly? Did I not? Not add some. I know it was in here. Ingredients. Yeah, net jelly. Okay, now it's favorites. Okay, so. Going to roll ourselves off the mountainside, Battle Brothers. Here we go! Oh, damn it. We need to fling ourselves off further, but we only know the first word of power. We need to find a really steep bit so we can really catapult ourselves into the distance. This is probably going to work. Just here, I imagine. We go. We ah, oh, the ah, uh, the the. We need the realistic physics mod, otherwise it's just not going to work. Very quick way of getting off and not taking full damage, though. We don't kill party snakes. He doesn't even fight back. It'll literally be a murder. <laughs> Could you imagine? White Run has a witness to your murder. Disgusting. Okay, I can see White Run down there. It's beautiful. Wee! Oh, disco time, man. So close. I wish you could just yeet forward with permanent paralyzation. Just need to use like ice for myself, really. Oh, I killed myself. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that was a bit slow. I was about to say, net jelly. Oh, yes. Look at him. Beautiful creature. There's booty there. Very nice. Up in the top of this mountain, there's actually a unique weapon. A pickaxe, which does shock damage. The reference to... Um, the creator of Minecraft, Notch. He was a big Skyrim fan. There was, I think, there was actually a, like a old lawsuit or something between Minecraft and Denimax. Can't remember. Something like this. Anyway, this mine um, pickaxe added to the game as a reference to Notch, the creator of Minecraft. So it's just up here. 
sitting out of this rock, actually floating in time and space. Notched pickaxe, a unique weapon. You can disenchant it though, oddly enough. Raise the wielder's smithing abilities and does a five shock damage to enemies on hit. Obviously the smithing increase is really nice though. Look at this view of Skyrim, man. God damn! From deep render distance there. You can see white round from here. See Bleakful Barrows and Helgen just down there where we started the game yesterday down there. Man, I am ugly. And over here we can actually see Riften on the river. Iverstead below that. But as well, down here, we can meet our death. Let us use the whirlwind sprint shout. Ah! ah! Here we are. Oh, it's ingredients, isn't it? Whee! Pie time. And that is how we enter battle, friends. Like a unit. Maybe we can do this one. Project us off another cliff. Man, we need the realistic physics. And then we can just go crazy, man. But guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a community post for whether we should side with the Blades or the Greybeards. If we should kill Parthenax or not, essentially. That is the choice. I've never killed Parthenax before. If you guys vote on that stream for me to kill him, we'll do it in the next stream. We're going to end this one here. So thank you so much for joining. Thanks for all the support. Drop a like on the video before you leave if you enjoyed it. Appreciate that. Um, next week... Um, we're going to be... So I've got quite a busy week. We might get in another stream before... Is that Lydia? That's Lydia. What the hell? We might get in another stream before uh, next weekend. I'll link it down below as soon as it's out. But um, it may be that it's like a week's time because there's another game I really want to stream next weekend, uh, which is like a survival sort of game, which I'm really excited about. So I'll be streaming that next weekend every day. And it's also a multiplayer game that you guys can actually join me on. So definitely check out the channel next weekend come by um and it's the kind of game where we can all play it together so i'd be awesome to like jump in and make a guild with you guys if anyone's interested um so check out the channel next weekend on what's that going to be like what the 18th to the 21st and then the 22nd is my birthday so i'm excited about that i might actually take that day off because it's been a really busy time I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm almost. I'm tempted to stream my birthday, but I think I'll probably take it off. I think I'll probably take it off. Just have, have a break. First break I've had in ages. Just spend it with my fiance. That's like that'll be a good day for me. I'd really enjoy that. Just me and her chilling out. That'd be great. All right, I'm gonna end the game here in front of this glorious sunset. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks for joining and being a part of such an awesome stream. I'll see you guys in the next.